report, a UN agency says at least 51.2 million people are now living under forced displacement, announcing its tally of people who are seeking refuge or asylum or who are internally displaced. It's the first time the number has topped 50 million people since World War II. The figures mean that worldwide, the number of displaced people is roughly equivalent to the entire population of the nations such as Spain and South Korea. If all of them were put into one country, it would be the 26th largest country in the world. The data comes from the new global report by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, reflecting a snapshot taken at the end of 2013. In that year, children made up half of the world's refugee population. The tally reflects an annual rise of 6 million people. As things stand now, the number may go up even further in 2014, as new violence in northern Iraq has led hundreds of thousands to flee. UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Gutierrez said in a news release on Friday, we are seeing here the immense cost of not ending wars, of failing to resolve or prevent conflict. Peace today is dangerously in deficit. Humanitarians can help as a palliative, but political solutions are vitally needed. Without this, the alarming levels of conflict and the mass suffering that is reflected in these figures will continue. The figures include 10.7 million people who are newly displaced by violence or persecution. Here's how the agency breaks down the 51.2 million total. 16.7 million people are refugees, 33.3 million are internally displaced, and 1.2 million are seeking asylum. The new report comes a year after the UN found suffering on a huge scale. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. VentureBeat reports all editors and journalists could risk legal persecution just for doing their jobs if U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder does not drop his four-year-old investigation into WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. A warning letter from more than 50 human rights and press freedom groups is demanding a stop to the investigation. Human Rights Watch and the Electronic Frontier Foundation and others urged Holder to recognize the way the internet has changed the nature of of political debate. This has been FPP Radio News online at fppradio.com. Frustrated Superman fans told reporters Monday that the economically healthy and financially stable Daily Planet newspaper is now the most unrealistic aspect of the comic book's universe. Acknowledging that enjoying the adventures of a superhero that can fly, lift cars over his head, and shoot beams of light out of his eyes requires some suspension of disbelief, longtime readers said even the comic's most exciting stories are regularly ruined by the implausibility of a thriving daily newspaper whose advertising revenue and circulation numbers have not at all been threatened by a media landscape overtaken by laptops laptops, smartphones, and aggregation websites. Look, I can play along with Superman using his breath to freeze a volcano or clapping his hands together to cause some sort of sonic boom, but seeing images of a thriving Daily Planet newsroom not facing layoffs or dwindling home subscriptions just really takes me out of the story. No one in Metropolis has realized they could get news online faster and for free. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here. 855-450-FREE is the number. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we're back in the studio after a couple nights off, or at least you and I, Mark. The show went on, of course, thanks to our wonderful co-hosts, Daryl and Ellen and Derek J for coming in and uh, filling the microphones for us. We were at the Talkers Seminar that's uh, kind of an industry schmooze fest. You go and hang out with the, the big wigs in the talk radio business. Anyway, that's where we've been. It's good to be back. And, of course, we're here live for the Saturday edition. It's me, Ian. And me, Mark. Toll-free number, as always, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We also have Skype. You can Skype in 
at username lrn.fm. Though Skype calls, you'll have to hold on a little bit because we've actually got a special guest who is already on Skype. And uh, he contacted me this week with some concern uh, about some things that I had allegedly said about him. He is Adam Kokesh. We've had him on the air a number of times in the past. He's a great activist. He's somebody who is no stranger to putting his own personal freedom on the line. He is, and we'll talk more about how he did that last year and what happened and what's going to happen uh, later on this year with some criminal charges that he's facing down. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll give you the latest on that situation, plus to have a conversation about you know strategy about how do we get from here to where we are today to freedom and you know what's the best road is violence the answer eight fifty five four fifty freeze the toll free number here tonight maybe you've got a question for Adam Kokesh he is with us and joining us now by Skype one time uh, host on RT still the host on YouTube of Adam versus the Man one time host on Free Talk Live and yes host on Free Talk Live uh, while I was in jail and also for civil disobedience you are now uh, Adam you are now an author welcome back to Free Talk Live hey. Thanks for having me on, guys. Always a pleasure to join you and just uh, to be able to have this conversation and, and to have friends like you with the kind of operation that you do who I can just reach out to by text message and be like, hey, you know, you want to have a conversation about this? And for you to say, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's share this exchange with our audience. I'm just honored to be a part of it. Well, OK, so the so the discussions that we have had and they've been in the past couple of weeks since the whole Las Vegas uh, shooter situation where uh, two people shot up a couple of cops in a CC's pizza and then shot another person in a Walmart before allegedly uh, you know taking their own lives. They mm-hmm. uh, that's kind of what got the conversation started again about violence as a solution to the problem of the idea of the state and the problem of state violence. Uh, the, you know, these people calling themselves the police that are hurting peaceful people all over the place. There was a raw story article about you, uh, Adam, and some of the things that you were alleged to have said on your own YouTube show, Adam versus the Man, about these two individuals. And I'd like to just give what they claim are your quotes Mm -hmm. and see, you know, what it is, you know, did they take them out of context? What did they get the quotes wrong? What do you have to say about that? Would that be all right with you? That'd be great. And and I I think all the quotes are correct. I don't, I wasn't trying to dispute that at least from what I've seen. Although I I know that there were a bunch of stories about this that I, I didn't get to. I was, as you know, I was in court in Virginia dealing with other things, but well, yeah, uh, I definitely want to talk about the court situation a little bit later, but let's jump into this as an issue because uh, they say that you are claiming that killing the officers in the case in Vegas was not murder. Uh, because the police are likely to kill people. The exact quote they say here is, let's say someone is going around stabbing people, like just stabbing people. It's not murder to kill someone in that situation. And has and has been pointed out about the Vegas shooting when you have police officers that are going around and doing violent things all day long, and then they take a break for lunch. Well, it doesn't mean all of a sudden they're innocent or they're being peaceful because they're taking a break from all their other anti-freedom rights-violating violence. And then they, they go on with another quote. Think of how many lives might have been saved by this incident. How many people would these cops have killed had they not been killed? Now, was there ever any evidence that the two police officers in question uh, had actually killed anybody? No, and and that's why you know I'm I'm making this as a hypothetical here, and I, what I'm really doing is trying to. Uh, understand the reasoning of the Millers and, in a sense, uh, sympathize with what is the justified motivation here, not the act. And I, and I think that's an important distinction because, uh, you know, a lot of libertarians, when they were like, oh, wow, there's a comparison here with the Millers, they were kind of into some of the stuff that we are, and they were kind of thinking along certain lines that, that you know, libertarians think along sometimes. There was this, oh no, we can't have anything to do with it. Oh no, like we're just, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna condemn it and we're not gonna think about it. And and I thought that they're, you know, in just out of respect for the gravity of the situation, you know, the fact that three people died in, you know, for the the, the way that it happened, well, five, uh, you know, it's it, it's worth really examining how it happened and and thinking about it honestly and and looking at why someone might justify this. Now, well, I'm fine with doing all that. Now, it's I've heard that uh, the the Jared guy uh, had had some incidents, and maybe his his girlfriend or was it her his wife. I don't have that right. detail, his but wife, his yeah. wife uh, might have also been in trouble with uh, with drug laws that he had been persecuted by the state 
for possession in the past and, uh, you know, had really had a burden placed on him because of that. And that's one of the reasons why he was angry. I mean, there's no doubt there's a lot of justif- justification for somebody to be angry and uh, and possibly violent with the state. However, uh, that doesn't justify, I don't think, what he did. Do you think so? Right. No, no, and and I I, I certainly have made it clear that while uh, defensive violence, you know, uh, against someone who is aggressing against you uh, may be morally justified, uh, even if you can justify it, rarely is uh, violence the best outcome, is the best solution. And, and and I know you've heard me make the case for this before, and I think I, I'm in a unique position with my particular record of activism to have the credibility to say that I've, I'm, I'm pro-gun rights, but that I look forward to the day when firearms are obsolete, that a nonviolent— Lasers? Yeah, basically, Phasers. yeah. Tor- photon Set torpedoes. To stun. Now, <laughs> you know, I know it's it's funny. It's a science fiction kind of fantasy, but I I I think the idea that a device that is capable of uh, rendering someone incapable of harming another and preserving the value of their life is a, a, a reasonable technology. I think there's a huge market demand for that. Uh, already, if you look at just pepper spray and taser technology, the gun existed a lot longer before, you know, you know, for a long time before we had tasers. And I'm not saying that they're equivalent. A taser obviously does not have the full defensive advantage of a firearm, and that's why firearms do still occupy a unique practical place in legitimate defense. Well, um, Adam, as a you know Marine who fought in Fallujah and um, you know the the gun expert that you are, thanks thanks for not saying served in Fallujah. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, well, you did serve. You served the government, the um, bankers, the war profiteers. Did um, d- what about rubber bullets? I mean, I, I'm I always wonder. I I know so little about guns. What a, would would a rubber bullet put a stop to somebody who's attempting to do something bad to you? I you know. You're a little out of my league. I okay. don't want to pretend. To, hold on, I, I can answer the question, but I don't want to pretend like I'm coming from because uh, in the Marines we don't use rubber bullets. I wouldn't expect yeah. you do. <laughs> I would not think you do. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you, but think about this from a perspective of of self defense. If you were in a situation, if you decided that it was in your best interest for your personal security to carry a firearm because you you believed that you know Mark that there was some specific threat against you that justified that would you really want to be shooting rubber bullets and the answer is no because there are a lot of to- there are a lot of people who uh, are physically resilient enough that a rubber bullet simply won't do what a real bullet will do and it's sad and I, I hope that I'm wrong in saying this right now I hope that there's some technology in existence I wouldn't be surprised if DARPA already has it and is keeping it from us but that there's some technology that bridges that gap that has the effective stopping power of a bullet but does not destroy and I think it, in this sense a rubber bullet's actually really bad because r- rubber bullets really do hurt people and the, the the use of them for crowd control is is just absolutely insane that governments think that like pounding people like hurt like it's just like punching somebody really really hard yeah. with a rubber bullet is like a good way to control people's behavior it's insane yeah, I don't know. If I were to use a, uh, a firearm, I would hope that what I'm using it for is to protect uh, my family or myself from physical harm as opposed to, like, you know, something being stolen from my house or whatever. Right. Hey, Adam, uh, you game for staying up to the the end of the hour? Absolutely. All right, more with Adam Kokesh here from AdamVersusTheMan.com because he's also got a book. Plus, I want to talk more about his case where he's facing 15 years in prison uh, for the, the whole infamous gun racking incident, basically, in D.C. We'll tell you the story here and get the latest in moments on Free Talk Live's Live Saturday show. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping 
make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though, it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. As we get the studio packed up uh, to head on the road tomorrow with the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It kicks off. Actually, it's, it's officially kicking off tomorrow, but many people, including our very own Derek J. Freeman, are up there tonight. There was a wedding today. There was, as a matter of fact, uh, a, a lesbian wedding, uh, which, of course, is completely legal here in New Hampshire. I wish I could have gone to it, but Porkfest doesn't officially start until tomorrow, and as much as I would have loved to have gone up today, 
Uh, basically, today I've spent all day packing. So looking forward to seeing many of you there uh, because Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live from the Porcupine Freedom Festival. This is your excuse to come to New Hampshire and check out the amazing community that we have. Yeah, there's going to be great guest speakers. I think they brought in, they're bringing in Nick Gillespie from Reason Magazine, for mm-hmm. instance. And there's going to be Joel Salatin. He's uh, behind the whole uh, you know permaculture uh, movement. Uh, the, the, He's the farmer guy, Farm right? to, to table um, movement. Yeah, so lots of different speakers. It's going to be a DIY theme, do it yourself. So there's all kinds of neat things you're going to be able to learn this year at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Or if you don't feel like learning, you can just party. There's all kinds of parties going on, including Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party. Or maybe you want to do some family activities. There's all kinds of family stuff happening as well. Go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. You can't get your... You cannot get tickets online at this point, but you can just show up and get in. There's plenty of room for everybody who comes. So Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. It's happening starting tomorrow, June 22nd through the 29th. We'll look forward to seeing you there. As we go back to uh, somebody who's been to a number of Porcupine Freedom Festivals, Adam Kokesh. Is is Porkfest not one of the most amazing events you've ever attended? Oh, for what it is, there's nothing like it. It beats all. But Ian, if I may sneak in real quick, I, I got to get a shout out to my friend Marcus, who's listening on the radio right now in Georgia while he is pulled over by a cop. Oh, wow. And he's listening yeah. to us on one of our uh, radio affiliates. Yep. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Well, uh, sorry to hear about the pull That's over. the amazing thing about the radio. <laughs> yeah, it is fun to be on the radio down there. So, uh, Adam, you're here talking to us about uh, the the Vegas shooters to start with, but you're also a new author. We'll talk about your book coming up and uh, the latest on your case where you're facing 15 years in prison. Uh, but just to get back to the issue of violence, you had had Chris Cantwell on your show, uh, Adam versus the Man at AdamVSTheMan.com recently. I haven't had the chance to watch the full uh, half hour long interview, but Chris actually just moved in uh, to New. He's back actually, moved back to New Hampshire, and mm-hmm. uh, he's he happens to be living across the street from the LRN studios, which uh, is pretty pretty interesting. Now, Chris's viewpoint seems to be that uh, you know that, that he's glad these cops are dead. Uh, do you take that same that same viewpoint, sort of relishing the the deaths of these officers? No, absolutely not. I think that it's helpful to understand the motivation for the murder, or I shouldn't say, well, for for the killing. But uh, I guess if you want to use the term murder, uh, my point in the video is that you really can debate that. Uh, but either way, it is a horrible, unnecessary tragedy. And violence is extremely costly and counterproductive in a whole host of ways. Uh, and, you know, whether or not it's justified, it is almost never uh, it, I should say it is never it is never the best option tactically when there is a nonviolent solution available. And really, that's that's what my book is about. And, and that's why I was I was kind of surprised to hear you characterize uh, my statements the way you did, because in the video with uh, the interview that I do with Christopher Cantwell, he was arguing the point that he's made in the past that his his what he sees as the only viable strategy is basically and 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 he might object to the oversimplification here but it's basically kill cops until they don't want to be cops anymore until the job is too hazardous to be tenable well it's my understanding he believes that it's going to come to that he says he doesn't want it to yeah that's what it's going to come to you still with us adam you know what we're probably having yep we are having some skype difficulties we will do our best Mm -hmm. To get Adam oh. back on with us, are you sorry about that? Yeah, I don't know. It uh, seems like we're gonna have a bad connection. Maybe it's better now. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. So the, I, I'm, I'm not sure where I got cut off there, but that was pretty important to say that. Uh, I, I think that position. Uh, I, I think it's based on some very dangerous false presumptions. I think it's uh, based on some uh, overly paranoid misunderstandings of the current situation, of the dynamics of government and society. And uh, you know, I, I think it really is sort of a, uh, a very uncompassionate, brutalist way of of looking at the world that, that almost gets away from the the ultimate point of being engaged in politics of promoting freedom, which is to, to maximize value for everyone, to so, improve people's lives. I want to apologize, Adam. I mean, I apologized to you over a text message recently, but I want to also sure. apologize to you on the air. I hadn't actually you know, listened to your full interview with Cantwell, so I didn't know the context there. There were certainly rumors flying around, and I you went, just read the story. And I made comments, and I didn't re- even read the whole Raw Story thing, well, but I made comments well, based, yeah. on, um, based on your video from last year, which led to your subsequent arrest for 
for guns and drugs allegedly in Virginia and uh, the DC charges having to having to do with having a shotgun in Liberty Plaza or something like that Liberty right. Square in uh, in DC and Freedom racking the Plaza. shotgun yeah. the statement you made uh, was I recall it sounded kind of threatening it sounded like you were calling for a violent revolution. Were you at the time calling for a violent revolution? And have you changed your mind since then? What was the thrust of that video that led to now you possibly facing years in prison? Well, for that particular piece of street theater, I give my acting skills a B minus. Um, <laughs> I certainly did not intend to come across the way that I did, and I, I understand that. But I, I, I appreciate your, uh, your your apology, and it's cool to to be able to talk to someone again who has that um, that understanding. But I love. But I want to say that it's it's really not that big a deal. I'm not. I'm not surprised. But I didn't think that what I threw out there with that video was like I was I was really it was liberal baiting, you know, I was mm -hmm. like and it worked like they 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 totally they totally ate it up. And, um, I, you know, really all I care about in life at all, period right now, and I know we'll come back to this, is getting people to read the book that I just wrote. I think it is the quickest way to people for people to go from zero to I get it. We'll come back to that. But I, 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 I'm not. Uh, so you weren't calling for a violent revolution. No. And, and, and I know I, I was calling I was calling. Uh, for an overthrow of the United States federal government, and I, I am still calling for that. Well, overthrow I think, tends to have a violent connotation, right? Like overthrow usually means to take by force and physically remove people and possibly, you know, kill them if they don't go. I mean, that's that's t typically what an overthrow is. Well, no, I, what what I've always advocated has been pretty clear is that uh, that we can have a peaceful, orderly dissolution of the United States federal mm -hmm. government that would be the result of the electoral process. And and I, you know, if or that, secession, right? Because weren't you also right. calling for secession? Yes. yes, absolutely. And and I think I think we're much more likely to achieve it from a national consensus. That unfortunately, you know, we we have to in a way turn to the state to dismantle itself. Do you and, talk and about really se secession at all in your new book? Absolutely. Uh, more importantly, localization. And and the book is unlike any other similar attempt to write, you know, the ultimate red pill and that it's not a Merocentric. It's not based on specific examples. It's based on the observations about the nature of modern governments that we all know are true. Your new book is called Freedom. It is available for free online at Adam versus Adam vs. The man dot com slash freedom in several different uh, formats, including audiobook. Folks can go there and download and it share. It doesn't sound like you're trying to get rich with this interview. Uh, at your leisure. Nope. Stand by, Adam. We're going to bring you back here. If you got a question for Adam Kokesh, he's with us. The toll-free number is 855-453. We'll get an update from him on his criminal case here next. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and or today eat them every day take them camping or save them for an emergency check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon that's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in oregon by oregon trail foods 30dayfoodsupply.com My name is Angel Rach. I'm a mother of two teenage children, and I fought all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to use the medicine that saved my life. I've been permanently disabled for 10 years with an inoperable brain tumor, wasting syndrome, and several other serious conditions. For four years, I was in a wheelchair in so much pain, I couldn't even hug my kids. The hardest part was looking in their eyes and seeing how much they were suffering because of my medical condition. The medicine that gave me my life back and gave my kids their mom back was cannabis, also known as medical marijuana. With medical marijuana, I can walk, maintain my weight, and I can be a mom. Without it, my doctors believe that I would die. To learn more about medical marijuana, contact Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or on the web at mpp.org.
This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit Promote.LRN.FM for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. (laughs) Promote.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. Plenty of time coming up for your calls about anything you want. Right now, though, if you call in, you do need to have a question for Adam Kokesh. He is a uh, television host who's been on uh, part of RT in the past, currently hosts his own YouTube channel over at AdamVSTheMan.com. He's also a brand new author. His new book is Freedom, and it's available for free, as a book named Freedom probably should be, over at AdamVSTheMan.com slash freedom and you can go and download it in a number of different formats including audio book uh, we're going to get back to his thoughts on violence as a solution is it one he says sounds like it sounds like we're really on the same page on a lot of this and we're going to bring him back here and of course take your calls if you have any questions so my magic mud is a um, it's a tooth whitening formula it is made with uh, sodium bentonite uh, excuse me bentonite clay and um, also with uh, the activated charcoal and what it does is it not only does it get your teeth as white as your teeth can be because I it took four applications and all the coffee stains were removed from my teeth um, I was amazed I went into my um, hygienist and she was doing my teeth and she she commented without any prompting whatever I said nothing um, she commented that my teeth seemed really great and asked me what I had been doing different I mentioned it she wrote it down so I don't know I don't know what she's done since then but she wrote it down and um, what it, what this uh, the activated charcoal does is it bonds with things. It's uh, that's why they use it for filters and for water filters and that kind of thing. It gets all kinds of stuff out of the water. Well, it also bonds with the stuff in your mouth. So bacteria, like bad stuff. yep, bad stuff pulls it right out of there. Mm-hmm. Um, it was created by a by Jessica Armand, who's a liberty loving homeschool mother of three. She's coming to Porkfest, and she is, and she's going to be there. And there's going to be uh, ways to try out uh, the the My Magic Mud. Also, you can order it online at mymagicmud.com. There's a video there with uh, biological dentist Griffin Cole, where he explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. And I, I can't do it justice other than to say this stuff's amazing. I will never live my life without it. My teeth feel completely clean in a way that they've never felt before. I don't have that film on my teeth in the morning. This and- is going to be the cleanest 
pork fest, at least hygienically in the mouth. <laughs> uh, people are going to be looking better after this pork yeah, fest. Yeah, it's great. MyMagicMud.com. Check it out for yourself. But yeah, you don't have to go to pork fest to get some of this stuff. Just go to MyMagicMud.com. It's great. All right, let's uh, continue here. We've got Adam Kokesh with us from AdamVSTheMan.com. Adam, you uh, we, we ta- touched briefly on this incident that happened last summer, I think, at this point. Uh, where you showed up at like five in the morning on uh, in DC out at Liberty Plaza or something like that. Oh, I, I can't get up that early. It was like eight o'clock or something. Was it? Okay. Some people said it was. <laughs> it looked really early from the way the sun was in the background. But uh, the, and you had a shotgun and you racked the shotgun and it's like a thirty second long video where you make a statement about uh, next summer and suggests you know sort of revolution and you were talking about secession yeah. as well. And you were saying it wasn't intended to uh, suggest violence that it was some street theater. Um, And I love street theater. I I, I think street theater is great. But in this case, this was pretty risky street theater. I mean, bringing a gun into D.C. ended up resulting in the D.C. and Virginia police and I think some feds coming to your home and raiding it. And Well, uh, I I would also give my planning and forethought skills a B- for this particular action. But um, (laughs) Well, we all live and learn, and I've certainly learned plenty of lessons the hard way. In this case, the D.C. guys came after you. You ended up going to prison while you waited for trial after the the, uh, the, – I I think you took a plea on that one. After that, they -hmm. they give you time served on the D.C. charge for having a gun in D.C. But then – now you're still dealing with the Virginia charges where, again, Virginia cops were involved in the raid, and they apparently allegedly found uh, some drugs and other guns – uh, in the home, right, and so that resulted. Of course, when you combine those two things together, they give you extra felony charges. I think so. You are looking at felony, at least one or two felony counts, and uh, yep. what's what's the status there? Because we've heard something about an Alford plea. Yep, I unfortunately that was uh, that was the outcome. It wasn't my you know first choice of how things were going to go, but I, I am now going back for sentencing on September fifth. And now the Alford plea, uh, as I recall from reading the details on this, it means that you aren't admitting guilt, but you also admit that they probably have enough to convict you, enough evidence. Yep. That's the gist of it. What's the why, purpose of doing yeah, that? Why, it, it seems like a terrible idea, but I assume that the, that's probably the only options that they gave you, right? Well, hey, if they give you an option where you grovel some more or an option right. where you grovel a little bit less, you know— that's it, it means something to me to stand on principle to have an opportunity to say that to tell the truth you know i have I, I when someone has a gun to your head you know it's you know what is your can, can you lie to get them to stop being violent to put the gun down yes you know and and i i think morally you're on pretty solid ground there but uh i had to tell the truth and this was a way for me to tell the truth and maintain my integrity and and, and that's why i took this option but, but- uh, what I, um, I sort of mean is, is they, they're not offering you a plea. Like, there's no... Um, no, there's... no, well, no, the, the uh, you know, the, there's only so much I can say about this for legal reasons at this point. But um, there is, as always, the threat to bring more charges. And you guys oh. understand this in the legal framework. And, and, and I'm sure from your own civil disobedience and what you have going on there in Keene... There are people who have faced this before where it's like, well, if you take this plea, we bring this one charge. And, yeah, it's still a five-year felony, and you don't know what you're going to get. It's going to be up to the judge. And you know it's going to be you know, relatively uh, – it's not going to be the full time you know, because of sentencing well, we guidelines. I certainly and hope like not. That. I mean it's, you're looking at 15 right. years in prison over this. Right, uh, and they, they try to scare the crap out of you every single we have, time. We actually this. saw this happen with the Amanda Billy Rock case here in New Hampshire. Yeah, where they exactly. Had, they had come after her with several charges. She was ready to go to trial. She had an attorney. The attorney was prepared for trial. And then literally 30 minutes before trial, they pulled them aside and said, look— We've got these extra charges. We've uh, you mm-hmm. know, learned that you registered your vehicle at this church and you don't live there, and so therefore that's this charge. And tell you what, if you take a plea deal on these other charges that we've already charged you with, then we won't charge you. We will agree to not charge you with these other things that we could charge you with. Yep. And she took the deal because she didn't want to deal with this, the court situation anymore. She had already paid an attorney quite a bit. She would have had yep. to have paid the attorney more to prepare for these other charges. It's exhausting. And this she, is the she took new it. status quo, gentlemen. This yeah. is how the system works now. And it looks I can nothing like justice. Experience in jail, no. And they don't do plea agreements with time served or time to serve commitments anymore, or, or, or much much more rarely than they used to. And it really is a sick form of bullying. Now, as you mentioned in the Amanda Billy Rock case, they technically had 
legitimate excuses in those, you know, to, to bring other charges. And they make up all sorts of quasi legitimate excuses to bring other charges. You know, you get a ticket for jaywalking. Well, guess what? Now you, you could also get a ticket for disturbing the peace. You know, you could also get a charge disorderly for conduct. Disor yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. There's, you see how this goes now. And when you're, when you've had your home raided, you know, they can, you, you, I mean, you want to get down to code violations, man, they, you know, they can screw you 10 ways from Sunday. So, now, okay. So let's talk a little bit more about this Alford plea. Uh, will you at sentencing be able to speak or will your attorney be speaking uh, to the judge and, you know, have, it's, I guess, up to 15 years. What do you think is realistic? Um, any speculation? Yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that, but we will be afforded the opportunity in the legal proceedings to make the case for time served and for now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just clarify: threat. you serve time in a federal detention facility. Would that count? That wouldn't count towards Virginia, right? You're well, facing no, charges. No, no. Well, the only time I actually spent time in a true federal facility was when I was arrested in Philadelphia mm -hmm. and was at the federal prison there for one week. But after the raid in Virginia, I did two and a half weeks in Fairfax County before going to D.C., which okay. is technically not a federal facility. It's a D.C. facility. Got it. So would the two, it would be the two and a half weeks that would then uh, count? Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. It's, so it's basically that. But, I mean, you never know. You never know. And and you guys get it. This is And, and it's crazy trying to do a media operation at the same time. As it dealing sucks. with stuff like this and it sucks business. having and I got it. Like, you guys are really lucky to have each other. You know, um, you know, you're, you're so much stronger with both of you, and you have a great team around you. But well, you've got you, a team, got, don't you? I mean, you've always had people helping you out. Oh yeah, but you, I mean, you know what it's like to have this kind of uncertainty that you. Introduce oh yeah, in your yeah. Life. I've got yeah, two years. I'm facing two years right now on a couple misdemeanor charges here in uh, yep. in New Hampshire. So stand by, Adam. We're going to bring you back. You've got a brand new book, and you're really excited about it, and it's free. So let's talk a little bit more about it and what uh, motivated you to get it out there. There's more Absolutely. coming up here on Free Talk Live. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Are you a programmer? Are you proud of your programming skills? If you can program, then you can prove theorems. And if you can prove theorems, then you can get proof that you can prove theorems at mathgate.info. Are you looking to employ a programmer? Before hiring an applicant, you can verify their skills by asking them to pass a test in basic formal reasoning at mathgate.info. All of this can be done using only Bitcoin addresses as pseudonyms. Welcome to the future. For more information, visit mathgate.info. Got a simple question for you. Can you sell? Yes? Okay. Can you sell the intangible? If yes, and you'd like to work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, with no overtime, no weekends, if you're passionate about not closing sales, but about opening relationships, if you truly have a desire to serve global clients who need your advertising expertise, and you're local to the Twin Cities and Burnsville, are hardworking, self-driven, with experience in sales, marketing, or advertising, are personable and a whiz on the phone, GCN wants to talk with you right now. GCN, the Genesis Communications Network, is one of the largest largest independent talk radio networks in the world and we're hiring right now we offer benefits and an excellent commission structure experience preferred but we'll train the right person is that you submit your resume today to advertise at gcnlive.com again that's advertise at gcnlive.com come work with the genesis communications network an equal opportunity employer why did you move to the shire I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. 
It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You are invited to take control of the airwaves here, this final edition from Keene, New Hampshire. We're going to be in a place called Lancaster starting tomorrow, and that'll be for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Look forward to seeing many of you there. A lot of Free Talk Live listeners attend the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's almost like a Free Talk Live listener convention in the woods. Yeah, we want to thank the uh, Free State Project for throwing us a remote broadcast there. Uh, So go (laughs) go ahead and uh, join us at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And, you know, if you care about privacy, you really need to know about ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network, and it encrypts your online data, meaning that before whatever you're, whatever's leaving your computer gets to your internet service provider, it's encrypted, so your ISP will no longer be able to keep track of what you're doing online because they will have no clue what you're doing online. You're still using their internet. It's just that basically they become a pass-through as you send data to the ProXPN servers. It's, again, a virtual private network, and you can get signed up, started over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL20, and you'll save 20% from their premium account. You can start with their free account and give it a try, see what you think, but you get the unlimited bandwidth with a premium account for just 5 bucks a month when you use promo code FTL20 and you order the annual plan. You can also choose your server with their premium account. There's different servers around the world you can connect to. You can also privately torrent with their premium accounts. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and they don't keep records of your online surfing habits. Download the software for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. It's free. Just go and get started at proxpn.com slash FTL. And then when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, use code FTL20 at proxpn.com slash FTL. We go back to Adam Kokesh. From Adam versus the man, Adam vs the man.com. You are back on the air and you are a new author uh, for, for the first time, which had to be a real challenge. Uh, had you ever done any authoring before? Well, actually, I wrote a book length version uh, of my combat experience in Fallujah for my senior thesis. Oh, wow. And I've been sort of sitting on that. And I'm really glad that I got this book out first. And I'm self publishing which is, uh, you know, a bit of a different choose your own adventure kind of way of uh, going about your business. But I'm absolutely confident that it is the right approach for this book because I'm giving it away for free. We are, you know, making it clear that people can do whatever they want with this, that it's totally open source. We have a, if you like a print version, you can print your own at home, double sided on eight and a half by 11 sheets, just 31 pages. Mm -hmm. The uh, print version of the book that we're going to have available soon, we're going to be selling pretty much at cost on our website. It's, uh, it's just 100 pages long, like the PDF. There's the audio book available online. I really don't care about anything else in my life right now as much as getting people to read this book. I, re- I really don't care about anything else at all. All I care about right now is getting people to read this book. I wrote this book to be 
the quickest way from someone to go from zero to I get it. And I believe that I succeeded. Zero to uh, I get know, it, meaning I, that they are a noob to the ideas of liberty, and then it's totally clicking with them by the time they read the uh, the book. To a master of the subject who has enough confidence in it to argue for the principles anywhere, anytime, on any issue, and have full faith in the message of universal nonviolence as the definition of freedom. So you, you uh, answered my question before I, I was going to. You answered my question before I asked it. I was going to ask you what the motivation was. I mean, there was a lot. There's obviously a lot of books in the liberty movement. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the liberty yep. movement is full of authors and uh, lots of uh, written material. So you know, you obviously thought there was some. Thing missing out there and that this would fill that gap? Absolutely. And I wish I could sit here and tell you that this is going to be the book that everybody on the planet reads that is going to take us to the tipping point and the paradigm shift and it's going to be game over from statism once we get everybody to read this. That's, you know, it, that's always the shooting for the stars goal when you write something like this. And, and there have been plenty of attempts, uh, you know, and, and I invite people to read mine and judge it for themselves. But from the reaction so far, people are really excited about sharing this book. And, and I think it, it has that potential. But at very least, uh, for, for myself, there's nothing I'd rather be promoting right now. The book is bigger than me already. It's better than me. Uh, everything I've done as an activist is insignificant in comparison to the value that this book brings to the movement in terms of being able to grow the movement right now and bring more people in. And, you know, I, I think for, for this point in time, for where we are in the culture, for uh, the book this uh, this is, I really think it is the best tool, uh, the best way to wake someone up, someone uninitiated, to say, hey, would you just read this? It's very short, like I said, 100 pages. The audiobook is just three hours long. And when people are, are done with the book, you know, they, they really are motivated to share it. So the, one of the things that sets it apart from a lot of other attempts at writing this kind of book is that it's not a marrow centric. The, what does that it, mean? It's, it's not based on the American experience as much as it is the global modern phenomenon of statism. We actually already have uh, several dozen translators, volunteers who have signed up at the forums at AdamVersusTheMan.com oh, wow. to translate this book into different languages. That's and very, very exciting. Yeah, that's nice. Very deliberately written that way. And I think if we're going to bring people over to you know to this message— you know, we have to present it in a way that is not based on any opinion, that doesn't include any cultural references. You're not hearkening really... back to the founding fathers exactly, as your exactly. uh, reasoning. Okay. Do you feel like you right. had a, a paradigm shift in the last 18 months or whatever? I mean, because I, I really got the feeling, you know, a year and a half ago that you'd felt like the opportunity for peaceful res revolution, a resolution to, uh, you know, the, the problems with government was was over. And hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have to go back when you when you bring that up, because I didn't get to say this earlier. Okay. And I really meant to. it was very important uh, as, as a point here. When I was talking about violent revolution, I want to make it clear we are already in a violent revolution in America. The government is being extremely violent on a continuous, ongoing, daily basis. The resistance to that violence is an evolutionary process that humanity is going through, and it is happening in America as it is happening throughout the world. But we have a different institution that we are facing down here as citizens of this particular empire that is in the decline. So uh, the, the, in terms of is it possible for this to happen without violence? No, because the government has got so much institutionalized momentum behind its violence right now. W we can only hope through facing up to these problems, as I suggest in the book, in localization and deliberately taking governments apart peacefully in an orderly manner from the top down, can we minimize that violence? We've actually got a, uh, somebody on the line here with a question for you, Adam. We're going to go to James in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live, James, with Adam Kokesh. Adam, I'm a believer in the principles of liberty, and I believe the bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. And nothing more than I would love to see our federal government super downsized, as well as our state and local local governments. But I, I stress over hearing so-called libertarians not be able to just say that the preoccupiers, drug addicts that murdered in cold blood two cops, why you guys can't just call them murderers because uh, for instance your your suggestion that cops are like public enemy number one and are, are, are a great problem in this great country of ours i mean I, i'm just picturing maybe a grieving widow in all seriousness that of one of the cops that was murdered again murdered well hold uh, on you you have a really this... i'm gonna put uh, it on hold go ahead Adam. sure 
No, I mean, uh, th this caller is obviously very emotional about this particular incident, but it seems to be kind of a silly semantic hang up on the word murder, which carries a very specific premeditated legal connotation. And I just don't know that that applies to this particular case, but I don't know why that's well, a big it's, deal. It's murder I, because I, it's uh, murder is unlawful killing, right? So yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's, it's definitely murder. And uh, I've never said anything besides that it that it was murder. But I mean, I I can. I think recent well, no, news comes out. This does it, does, doesn't murder require pre a certain, no. uh, a very specific threshold of being premeditated? No, that's first degree murder. Yeah, that's okay. first degree murder. Oh, okay. Second degree murder would be like in the heat of the moment, sort of, uh, you know, catching someone in an murder, act. And, murder is simply unlawful killing. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Let's bring James back real quick here. James, any follow up? It's immoral and unforgivable murder, Mark, and walking up to two dudes eating lunch and unloading a Glock or whatever they used into their skulls because they're druggies and they hate cops that arrest druggies. It's oh, wait a murder. second. I, did you see for the call, did you, James? James, did you see that these— I'm sorry. I already dropped him okay. out. we got to get Adam in, in here with well, his the, thoughts. These people were actually drug in, their informants for the police. Uh, from were they? The, the, new, the new news out this uh, today, yesterday, was that they they're— They were snitches, they're, huh? They're informants. These are, these are on the police payroll. Um, well, that's interesting. The, the police don't— <laughs> It's also presumptuous to to presume that these cops, for example, did not have some particular involvement. You guys know how dirty the informant business is and how cops are often threatening people. And if it was these two cops that were threatening the Millers, I mean, it's it's we, you are a lot of people are, as they always do, looking at incidents like this. Uh, project well, a lot of well, well, I don't want to presume say, either on, way, on show, right? Like, I don't want to presume we're having, anything about this. Besides, all we know <laughs> are the facts that you know they did kill these two officers. What involvement they would have had with them, we'll never, we may not ever know the full story because they they killed themselves. So we, they won't get to tell their side of it, unfortunately. But Adam, thank you for coming on Jared, the show tonight. Jared Miller's aunt will be on Adam versus the man next week. Jared Miller's what? His aunt. His aunt is uh, is on with him. Uh, AdamVSTheMan.com slash freedom is the free audio book and uh, readable book as well. Thanks, Adam. We're coming up here on Free Talk Live. Quantum Vibe. It's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand with your Liberty Beat for June 20th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,320, silver at $20.82, and Bitcoin is trading at $595. 
Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. on 1370 a.m. in Austin. That's 1370 a.m. in Austin on Sunday at 4 p.m. And support comes from My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. Go to MyMagicMud.com or pick a jar up today at Brave New Books. And now the news. A new study published in Biomed Research International examined six studies by the Center for Disease Control that found thimerosal, an organic mercury compound found in vaccinations, to be safe. Researchers state that despite the six studies by the CDC claiming no danger, there are over 165 studies which have found thimerosal to be harmful. Sixteen studies looking at the effects of thimerosal on human infants and children found a range of outcomes, including poisoning, allergic reactions, and neurological disorders. The researchers are calling for the CDC to reevaluate its position on thimerosal and its use in vaccines. Militants launched an attack on Iraq's largest oil reserve overnight Tuesday, but failed in their attempt. Security forces were able to repel the insurgents, who have seized Iraqi military equipment provided to them through contracts with the U.S. government. With air support backup, Iraqi troops were able to destroy an ISIS convoy and gunned down three snipers who were trying to break into the Baji refinery. The Iraqi chief military spokesman said 40 attackers were killed in the fighting. The United States no longer ranks in the top 100 most peaceful nations. According to the annual Global Peace Index, it stands at 101 out of 162 nations. The annual assessment measures data driven from crime statistics, political forces, refugee activity, population trends, and other factors including terrorism and economic conditions. Ireland is number one on the list, with Denmark and Austria close behind. The three least peaceful nations are South Sudan, Afghanistan, and Syria. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, now with two locations in Austin at 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. And from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for June 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. According to The Independent, scientists at a British university claim to have made a breakthrough in treating antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria, or superbugs, are considered one of the world's most deadly threats ranked alongside global terrorism. Researchers believe they have discovered a way in which drugs could attack the cell membrane of one of the three bacteria groups known as gram-negatives. The membrane acts as a defensive barrier against attacks by the human immune system and antibiotic drugs. Until now, the formulation of the membrane had not been well understood. Scientists say if drugs can be developed to target those molecules, then membranes could not form, leaving the bacteria exposed to the body's immune system. Governor Rick Perry has ordered the Department of Public Safety to immediately begin a surge of law enforcement operations along the border to combat the flood of illegal immigration into the state. The state authorized DPS to fund the extra security efforts, which cost approximately $1.3 million per week. Perry said the order was needed due to the lack of adequate federal resources required to secure the border. He added that Texas cannot afford to wait for Washington to act, and affirmed that the state would not sit by idly while the safety and security of Texans are in jeopardy. A report by Russia Today says another operation, Desert Storm, could be on its way following the recent deployment of nearly 300 U.S. troops to Iraq. Manned and unmanned surveillance flights are also patrolling the region, keeping an eye on advancements being made by the ISIS jihadist group that threatens to overrun the country. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action and join for free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. This is Justin Armand reporting with the Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. 
This is the Onion Week in Review. Gushing women voters announced Monday that they just can't help but feel an uncontrollable attraction to the sexist Republican Party. Saying they should know better but just can't resist the GOP's reckless neglect of women's health issues, smitten females across the country are reportedly driven wild by the GOP's blatant chauvinism. I can't say no to bold, misogynistic politicians who think their authority extends to my uterus. Whenever you vote for a Republican, you feel like you're doing something a little bit naughty. Top officials within the U.S. military acknowledged Wednesday that they were desperate to be given just one solid war they could really knock out of the park. Citing the recent string of messy, ambiguous military engagements in the Middle East, members of the Pentagon brass called for a conflict against a sovereign nation with a standing army and a clear-cut bad guy who employs conventional tactics and weaponry. No roadside bombs, no plainclothes militants fighting out among innocent civilians. Just a fair fight where two sides shoot at each other and someone wins. We're, we're absolutely great at that. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of this live Saturday edition of the program. You may, of course, take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Got an interesting story from the Daily Mail. It's actually a follow up piece on something we've talked about in the past. One of the top sheriffs in America, once named the best sheriff in America, he's going to jail. And we'll tell you what for. You'll be shocked for the reason he's going to jail. It's one of the most, it's probably one of the worst crimes that uh, at least a lot of people will consider to be the worst crimes out there. Uh, we'll, we'll give that to you here in a moment. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. If you're just tuning into the show, we had Adam Kokesh on the program in the first hour. If you missed it, uh, you can always download it later at freetalklive.com. But he was talking about the uh, the Vegas shooters who apparently... Uh, they say, had liked Adam Kokesh on their Facebook profile, or at least one of them had liked him on their Facebook profile. Now, Mark, you're saying the shooters are coming out. There, there's apparently news that they may have been informants. So there was rumor that they had been busted by the uh, the cops in the war on drugs, and that was the reason why they were so angry at the police. But turns out they also turned state's evidence at some point, allegedly and uh, became informers for the police. So we don't really know the intricacies at this point of of what level of interaction these folks had with the police on a, a regular or irregular basis. And I'm sure as time goes on and we learn more, we'll continue to bring it here. Or if you learn something before we talk about it, feel free to call in and give us an update. Of course, we also ex- uh, had a conversation with Adam about the viewpoint about violence. And it sounded to me like he was not advocating for violence, that maybe there had been some misinformation or misinterpretation of some of the things he'd said in the past. He could understand why it might have been taken that way, but he said it was taken out of uh, context, basically. That wasn't his intention, and maybe he communicated poorly in the past, like, for instance, when he racked a shotgun out in Liberty Plaza in D.C. and Calling for the final American Revolution? Yeah, and apparently called for an overthrow of the government, which typically means violence. I mean, you know, the term overthrow... With a gun in your hand. To depose, as from position of power, to overcome defeat or to vanquish, uh, definition two, to put an end to by force as a government or institution... Uh, to over th- to throw or knock down, overturn, topple, to knock down and demolish. I mean, generally, overthrow doesn't have a connotation of we're just going to ask you nicely to leave and or stop dealing with you. Yeah, I don't know what the term overthrow. You know, like I, as far as mincing words, um, yes, I do feel that the form of governments that we see today will be considered tyrannical in. A hundred or two hundred years. Yeah. When you see things like the United States uh, government, this uh, democratic republic that we've all been told is the the pinnacle of governance on the planet, at least in this country, that's what we've been told. Um, you know, it. I think that statements like that really. Uh, affect progress because the fact is is this isn't the pinnacle of human governance Mm -hmm. human governance is going to be a lot better in the future and this where you have uh, the government spying you know me paying the government to spy on me um, and you know hold the other world at bay killing kids around the world with remote control airplanes and things like that not the pinnacle of government 
Sorry, police officers are held unaccountable whose, whose unions stand in the way of cameras being put on police officers so that everybody who employs these police officers can see what they're doing in a day, mm-hmm. not the pinnacle of governance. When you put your hand over your heart and you weep for a piece of red, white, and blue fabric, you're not pushing the conversation forward. That the you know when I say the conversation, I'm talking about the conversation about how do we how do we protect ourselves from evil people and at the same time uh, you know have some form of uh, governance because uh, no, Thomas but evil Jeff- people tend to like to get into the government. Thomas Jefferson said that uh, you needed to protect yourself from government and from criminals by binding the one you know bind you know charging the one to protect us from the other and binding it with the the, ch- the chains of the Constitution or something like that. How'd that work out? But the chains of the Constitution appear to be made out of hemp paper yeah. <laughs> and it, it didn't it didn't seem like it did a lot in in that realm you, i mean I, I see a lot of congress shall make no law and shall not be infringed in the bill of rights and i see a lot of laws and infringements so yes i think that there needs to be more done so if you want to use the term for overthrow of the government in that way yes i th- guess i think that the united states government needs to be overthrown but do i want to see violence in the streets and uh, people shot and things like that no that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking- i wouldn't mind seeing people in the streets but i don't want to see violence uh, in whenever the streets whenever you put people in the streets you're going to see violence i'm Unfortunately, sorry to tell you. it seems to be you know it's in a lot of cases because the police will dress up as though they are the people in the streets and they will initiate violence giving the other police the excuse to shoot and or beat people that there are, are plenty the of uh, there's plenty of evidence of agents pr- provocateur but the fact yeah. is when you get enough people who are upset enough and Adam Kokesh appeared to be upset enough um, you know a Must year have ago been upset he racked a shotgun in Washington DC on video and I, there's a lot of people that are upset enough I think that these uh, these Vegas shooters were upset enough it right. doesn't do any what you what you, we needed is a plan to move from here to there um, Adam seems to have you know, he seems to be on board with the plan to move from here to there, and it's about communication. He's written this great book that you can get at adamvsthemancom slash freedom that he, uh, you know, is, is talking about being the way to bring people to the ideas of liberty. I think this is, that's really awesome, and, and I'm for it. We're going to go to your phone calls and thoughts. Uh, you can chime in on any of these issues or whatever happens to be on your mind. Bobby is in Lakeland, Florida. Bobby, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. What's up, guys? I haven't talked to you in a couple months, man. You guys are going good, man. Hey, Bobby, what's on your mind? Okay, I want to talk about Adam Kokesh. Um, I like Adam Kokesh. I like um, the causes that, you know, he's trying to go out and um, uh, bring attention, you know, to the to, to uh, the liberty movement and the cops. And I, I think we all know the context, though, of what he really meant. Um, I think maybe it was for shock value to get attention. Um, Are you talking about when he racked the shotgun in the in Washington yeah. D.C.? Okay. Yes. Yeah. When he did that, you know, we've seen the video. You know, I think he can't say he can't say that now. He, you know, all the kind of trouble he would be if he actually admitted that's what he what he meant. But we all know what he meant. Well, what do you say? What are you saying? What do you think he meant? I think he meant that if the cops do not Stop what they're doing, or what he thinks they're doing wrong, or we're stepping a boundary, or they come for guns. That he is calling for overthrow the government by violent means. By uh, I don't think that's up. what he was. That's certainly not who he is. So what you're saying is you think he was saying something different tonight. He's equivocating now. That uh, than what he really meant yep. then. That's not. I mean, I, I'm going to take Adam at his word. I think he's an honest guy. And, you know, we go a ways back with Adam and having him on the show and you know, knowing him in I person. I can see why somebody would come to the conclusion the callers come to. I can see why they would come to that conclusion. But you also, if you listen to the first hour of the show, you also heard Adam pointing out that violence isn't the solution. That he it's had never, some good explanations. That it's, not, that it's not the answer. It's not going to make things better. I mean, so, I mean, he doesn't seem to support violence at all. I, I hope he doesn't. And he never did. It's just. The way it was done, it just like was very shocking. It definitely was, and I think a lot of people were were shocked by it. And it seemed it seemed a little brash 
and, and as he admitted tonight, it wasn't well thought out. And thank you for the call, Bobby. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I mean, he generously my, gave himself a B minus for that. Uh. Yeah, my <laughs> primary. Well, I mean, it definitely. It's got. He gets an A for huevos. I mean, there's no doubt the 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 huevos factor, uh, the ballsiness factor is very very high with this one. Um, but it, I think it was a bad show. Chose a bad time, and I've told Adam this. You know, we didn't get into the the minutia of why he went the way he did, the way he what he did, what he did. Um, but I have criticized him in the past. For why did you do this in D.C.? What was the point of this? I mean, it's if it was part of some sort of larger plan to try to overturn the D.C. gun laws or something, that you know, there'd be some some understanding of that. But it, as futile as it would have seemed, at least then there would have been a larger plan. You know, you already had your attorneys lined up. They knew what you were going to do. They were ready to to respond in court. And none of that was the case. It just seemed like you know he decided to go to D.C. and rack a shotgun and make a statement without really. Uh, thinking it through. If you care about gun rights, why not just move to New Hampshire? I mean, if you love freedom and gun rights are your issue, move to New Hampshire. If you live in a place like D.C., New York City, or the various other places, Baltimore, where there are heavy restrictions on firearms, New Hampshire is a whole new world, and there's virtually no restrictions here. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. Of course, you can go to freestateproject.org to check out the idea of moving to New Hampshire if you love freedom. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who hey. 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 do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, 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 now. wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features on the site. We've got a webcam included. It's all free. Just go to cam.freetalklive.com and watch, listen, and you can chat too. The chat room's built right into the same page. If you go to coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of delicious, organic, shade-grown, top 1% grade Arabica beans coffee. Go there. Get a free pound. Now, you pay for the shipping. We'll pay for the pound. Try to make it uh, fair for you. And the reason that we're giving away a free pound of coffee is we want you to try BuzzBox Coffee. Um, If you try BuzzBox Coffee, I think you'll come to the same conclusion that I have, is that this is top shelf, the best of the best coffee. But one thing that they do that other coffees don't, they're, they're commensurately priced. It's um, you know not a surprise as far as the price goes is when it's uh, top shelf coffee. But one thing they do that other top brand coffees don't do is that they make it possible for partners like us to offer micro loans to people around the world. For every 10 people that sign up for uh, you know, to get their coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com through, through that site, then we're able to give another micro loan to another family to change their lives. Whether it's uh, a sewing machine or a plow or, I don't know, a bicycle or some kind of restaurant equipment, whatever it is that they need to get that hand up to make a new life for themselves, we're able to help with that. And I'm really proud, and that's why I wanted to partner with BuzzBox Coffee. So please, go check it out. Get the free pound. See if you like it. If you drink coffee, I think you will. One thing about shade-grown coffee is is that uh, if you have that acid reflux thing going on from coffee, it really it's much more mild. Not to say that it uh, doesn't taste as good. It's just it doesn't have the acidity um, that uh, – and, and for people who have caffeine reactions, it doesn't have uh, uh, you know that, that same issue either. So go to coffee.freetalklive.com. All right. Let's go to right back into your phone calls and thoughts. It is the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Coming up, we've got a story about a police – actually a sheriff, the top dog in Arapahoe County, Colorado, and why he's going to jail We'll share that with you. 855-450 free is the toll-free number. We also have Skype. Skype on in at username lrn.fm. Let's go to John, listening in Ocean City, New Jersey, to WPG. Hey, John. Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, Welcome, sir. I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Illuminati, which everybody dismisses as some kind of urban myth. Well, you have Aaron Russo, who produced the movie Trading Places, with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Mur- Murphy, talking about he had been invited into the Illuminati by Nicholas Rockefeller. Then you have... Uh, Let's see, William Guy Carr. Who okay, before the, you go on, what is the Illuminati? Yeah. All right, the Illuminati, what it basically is, is a group that was, well, what it is, it's a conglomerate of all the secret societies that couldn't take on the monarchies and christened them in Europe. And that was, uh, it was organized by a great organizer, uh, Dr. Adam Weishaupt, who was an occultist, and he was bankrolled by the Rothschilds. Now, that's all factual and actual. Uh, he did. He took 2,000 of the men with the highest uh, degrees and letters and so forth, the most educated men in Europe, and and started that group, the Illuminati. And the, and going all the way back to the days of George Washington, you had John Quincy Adams, you had David Pappen of Dean of Harvard University. 
I don't know or who any of those people are. Like, a lot of you them. don't know who George Washington. I've heard of John like, Adams, but uh, that, look, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. I don't really. I'm not interested in having you drop a bunch of names to make it sound like you know yeah. a lot about the Illuminati. I mean, it's fine. Well, it sounds I'm like you've done a lot of research. The Illuminati runs our country. John, uh, let's run, let, let me let's just shit. have a conversation here instead of a lecture series. So it sounds like you've done a lot okay. of research on the Illuminati, and you sound like you know okay. what you're talking about. Uh, but uh, so again, what's the point of the Illuminati exactly, from from your perspective? Uh, the point of the Illuminati is global control. Now, John Kennedy, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, had uh, actually signed an executive order on June fourth, nineteen sixty three, Executive Order eleven thousand one ten, which would have taken the power out of the stockholders of the Federal Reserve, which is not our federal government, and put it back in the hands of our Congress. And ten days before he was murdered. He wanted to expose the secret societies and have them cast to the four winds, and he was murdered 10 days later. So actually, he, he wanted to face—he he faced off with the Illuminati the same way he faced off with Soviet Russia, and he got, and he got his head blown off for it. Now, so, doesn't you know, the Illuminati actually, just mean enlightened? I mean, these are the light bringers or the enlightened ones. Uh, these are And who are they enlightened by? Their spiritual orientation is Luciferian. Albert Pike, who was a 33-degree mason whose book, Morals and Dogma, is the Bible Freemasonry. Openly worship Lucifer and say yes. I he worship he worship Lucifer openly. But a friend of mine is a mason. He's thirty three level thirty three or whatever this level is, and he's uh, he says that it's just a bunch of guys that do um, you know charity work. Oh, a bunch of charity work. Well, it's a little bit more involved than that. And not all thirty three degree masons are actually conspirators either. Well, it's, that's it's pretty convenient. Hint, it's covert. It's covert. So it's not everyone in the uh, Mason or Masonic order is part Just of the, the Illuminati. Just the ones that drive the little cars in the fair? <laughs> those aren't, no, those not, aren't the no, Masons. Not all, no, not all Freemasons are Illuminists. That's, that's how they work. Um, so okay, so but, so let me say this, John. Uh, there's a there's a neat blog out there. I happen to kind of follow it. It's called the Vigilant Citizen, or rather Vigilant okay. Citizen. And this individual seems to know a lot about Illuminati symbolism, for instance. You know, like the pyramid with the eye on top and the one eye, and there's right. all kinds of symbolism. And uh, and he goes uh, and writes articles every now and then about pop culture and pop music uh, videos and all the Illumina uh, what the, is alleged to be Illuminati symbolism in there. And uh, a lot of it seems kind of creepy, like that there are people who believe in this weird religion uh, that it's uh, supposedly all about power. And uh, well, so I see I see a lot people- of that here. Just let me finish my yeah. my thought. I I see a lot of that. Like it, like some of the things the guy says at Vigilant Citizen. It, it connects, you know, he shows proof of, of all this. But what's the, the goal here in your call? Are you, well, even well, if you know about the Illuminati, if you believe in this, and of course, there's not a lot of evidence that they actually exist in any way because the, the they're Illuminists supposedly are, so secret. Are interna- they're, in, they're internationalists. They're not actually dedicated to a, any race or religion or, or nation. They're internationalists. Thank goodness. They more or less regard, well, they most, most really regard most of us as useless eaters. Uh, we're just taking up space. And they want to take away American sovereignty. And they, for one, they well, it was Illuminus Woodrow Wilson who signed exec, the executive order that uh, sold us down the river with the Federal Reserve. But, uh, you didn't powers. let me get to my question for you, John. My question okay. is, so let's say you have all this information about the Illuminati. You see all this symbolism in uh, pop music and wherever else. What is the right. goal of informing people of this? I mean, is there? I mean, you can't prove that somebody's in the Illuminati, can you? And and even if you could prove it, what good would it do? What good would it do? Well, for one, we can clean our government out. No, and, you can't. How do we? Well. Are you saying that everybody, all five hundred and thirty-six people in the government? Uh, I would say about eighty percent of our government are Illuminists. And how they are Illuminists, they're part of secret societies, the pledge of the secret society. Well, over, if there's truth, John, the to the United idea States that these people are in a secret society, what makes you think you're going to be able to have somebody run successfully against them? Well, what you need is you have more. The information needs to be dispersed among the general public. That's what's needed. But I got to go. Hold on, uh, before you go on, John. Oh, now he has to go. I see. Well, thanks for see. There you go. See, you can't, I, you can't know too much, Mark. I wonder about the people that are spreading this. There's, uh, for instance, I think you know, king of the conspiracy uh, shows is Alex Jones. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything bad to say about the guy, um, but you'd think that if he was really revealing really dangerous stuff about people like the Illuminati and the Bilderbergers and whatever the the folks are, Mm -hmm. um, then why wouldn't these people that care nothing for us, useless eaters, just send out somebody with a gun and shoot them? It's always been a question of mine. I'll... uh... 
I'll try to give you the devil's advocate answers here from the conspiracy theorist wing. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. Why won't they just shut up the people who are talking about them loudly? It's Free Talk Live. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful. Powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters for the love of clean water. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. I spent eight and a half years of my life in prison, and I blame it squarely on the shoulders of Christianity and the stories that I was told. If somebody, if my parents, if my, if the people at the Christian school, if the people at church would have just explained morality to me as opposed to explaining heaven and hell as a reason for doing what was right and what was wrong, I think I would have understand. It's relatively easy. If you do the moral thing in life, your life is going to be better. You're going to sleep better at night you're going to probably uh, you know be much more prosperous right you know, they and say all crime doesn't pay they say it for a reason happen uh, right here in this world we don't have yes. to wait for an afterlife to experience the consequences of our actions whether good or bad you know if i would have just been given the gift of morality instead of the gift of some silly crazy story i would never have gone to prison free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves. The uh, conversation has taken a turn to the bizarre and the esoteric. Uh, we had someone call in about secret societies, specifically the Illuminati. I'm not really convinced that the Illuminati are a bad thing. 
Uh, I'm not really convinced of that. I know there are a lot of people that think that they are, that they want to, as the last guy was suggesting, control the world and destroy the population and, you know, all these supposedly nefarious plots. We can get back into that here in a moment uh, at 855 450 free, or you can bring up whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. Maybe you could be illumin- illuminated. With uh, ModUp.net, if you need focus and feel fatigued, you're trying to get the extra edge when it counts. There's just so much going on in our lives these days, and every moment it seems like we can't keep track of everything. Often we're tired. Well, don't you wish that there was something that could get you out of the rut and give you the focus you need, help you get things done? Well, there may be. Modafinil from ModUp.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so that you can get things done. Businessmen around the world continue to talk about how Modafinil from ModUp.net is making the difference in their work, giving them that critical edge that they need. Check out ModUp.net and look into it for yourself. They offer Fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality modafinil at an amazing price. And ModUp.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community. That's right. If You um, you can order from ModUp.net with Bitcoin and get a 33% discount for doing so. And to make the deal even sweeter, use code FTL. You'll get free 10 free tablets with your order. So that's code FTL. Remember that Free Talk Live is an international radio program and that ModUp.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know what your local prescription requirements and are and what laws apply. So please, we recommend you look into it for yourself. But um, I'm sure you'll find ModUp.net offers a great service at a great price. It's ModUp.net, code FTL. We're going to get right back into your calls. But I said I would give a couple of possible answers to your question, Mark. You had asked about... Uh, the kind of a conspiracy radio host, Alex Jones. And, uh, you know, if, if you said if he is so dangerous, if he is such a threat to the secret societies, for instance, that why wouldn't they take him out? If these secret societies, the Illuminati, uh, the Masons or whatever, if these guys are so entrenched, if they're so interested in their power and Alex Jones is actually saying things that's a danger to them, why wouldn't they have one of their Illuminati hitmen or whoever, were you suggesting they shoot him or just take him off the air? What were you? Um, I, you know, I, th- it could be anything. If it's a, if these are rich, powerful people, I've seen the movies. Rich, powerful people can rub people out. He could, th- well, they could kill him. They could threaten his family. They, they could, could put something in the water and into his home, give him a heart attack. So lots of possible <laughs> theories. So why not? Why not take out Alex Jones in whatever way? So two possible answers, and there are probably other ones, but kind of coming from the conspiracy personal or the, the conspiracy perspective, uh, the, one of the answers I've heard in the past was, well, if they kill Alex Jones, then We'll know. We'll know they exist. Only if you take him and uh, nail him to a the you know the front of the courthouse or something. I mean, people are the, those those small planes have a really bad uh, you know record when it comes to people just disappearing. Didn't we lose another important person like last week to a small airplane crash? Alex Jones is traveling all over the world all the time. Well, sure, Mark. Obviously, only paranoid people would think that, oh, well, they took out Alex Jones, so therefore the Illuminati must have been the ones who did it. Uh, the other one is that Alex is actually part of the Illuminati, oh, and so this is like the uh, this is level Z of conspiracy theory as far as Alex Jones is concerned, that he is actually, in point of fact, a government agent and is working to throw out misinformation. I spent all day yesterday with uh, the guy who's the um, head of our um, syndicate, Genesis Communications Network. It's the same syndicate that syndicates Alex Jones. Yeah, the same. so he's the head of Alex Jones's syndicate. No, this is absolute crazy lunacy. And this is why this stuff has to end. It's complete wild conjecture on all sides. And I'm sick of wild conjecture. I don't care about your Illuminati. I don't care about your Bilderbergers. (laughs) Yes, I know there are rich people in the world that want to control us. Yeah, they're, but the thing is, is they can't agree. You don't yeah. think that every rich person in the world that wants to control us is all trying to do the same thing. Right. He said the Illuminati was a group of secret societies. Please, these secret societies are probably wanting to kill each other as much as they wanted to hurt anybody else. Well, I don't know anybody who's uh, who claims to be in the Illuminati, but w- as you mentioned, one of our friends is a 33rd degree Mason. Or whatever the degree is, yes, it's 30-something. I, kn- I know another guy who's in the Liberty Movement, and the friend you're talking about is an activist within the Liberty movement and i know another guy who is in the liberty movement he's actually one of the ministers of the shire free church who is uh, in the in the masons as well so it seems to me that if if it's true that in the masonic order there are people who believe in freedom and there are people who believe in coercion 
uh, that they both exist in the Masonic realm, wouldn't that also be true of the Illuminati? I mean, if you look at the, f the supposed information behind the Illuminati, at least according to Wikipedia, that uh, it's a name given to several groups, both real and fictitious. Historically, it refers to the Bavarian Illuminati, a Enlightenment-era secret society founded in 1776. The society's goals were to oppose superstition. Okay, I'm with you there. Uh, to oppose prejudice. Sign me on for that. Uh, to oppose religious influence over public life and abuses of state power. Seems reasonable so far. And to support women's education and gender equality. So, I mean, maybe there's a newer Illuminati that's all about controlling the world, but it seems to me that there could be a variety of people involved. It in doesn't this. seem to have anything to do with this executive order 11110 that the uh, the caller quoted. It says, uh, it notes that Kennedy called for and signed legislation phasing out silver certificates in favor of Federal Reserve, no Reserve notes, thereby enhancing the power of the Federal Reserve in that executive order. So, um, it you know the, the executive order that he claims that Kennedy was killed over a few days later, um, that somehow gutted the power of the Federal Reserve. In fact, enhanced the power of the Federal Reserve. So that guy was either misinformed or lying. Well, there's something more um, to it that we don't know about, and he's not on to uh, talk about it. He had to go. Let's go to Paul in Charleston, West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Hello, Paul. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, I was listening to the guy there prior talking about the Freemasons. Yes, sir. And I was actually, there's only actually three degrees in Freemasonry. There, and uh, what you do, you branch off into, it's what's called the Scottish Rite to become a 32nd degree. But okay. actually in Freemasonry, there's only three degrees. How does it go from three to 32nd or 33? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, it's like an off uh, an offshoot, like uh, the Shriners. There's mm -hmm. the York Rite, the Shriners, and the Scottish Rite. Okay, With, you have to be a Freemason to join those offshoots. So, how does it get to thirty three? Where, where how once does you it jump? join an offshoot, then you can go beyond. Uh, you know, then those are level four through thirty two. Yes, but that's actually just uh, the originally the Freemasonry. There's actually only three degrees. There you go. So now, do they do they swear you to secrecy on this stuff? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like you said. I heard you mention your friend. Uh, basically, I think best way I describe it: if we're so powerful, then why do I work at a sewer plant? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. and what degree of a mason are you? I'm just in the regular lodge. I'm just a third degree master mason. Last, okay, in the lodge. Gotcha. And what sort of things yeah. will go on in the lodge? I've been in one of these rooms uh, after it was shut down <laughs> later on. It seems kind of creepy. Uh, basically, you just uh, just have a little meeting and you eat dinner. Eat some dinner, Pretty and it's much. all it's all men, is it not? The Masons have uh, a female based organization, but by default, it's uh, it's males only, correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. Gotcha. The, right. the female branch is actually called the Eastern Star. Yeah, the Order of the Eastern Star. Anything else you want to yes, share sir. tonight? Because I realize that if you tell us more, they might send a hit squad. <laughs> yeah, I might have a hit man ask me. I'd have to get hide with Alex Jones, I guess. But. Thanks, no, Paul. Just, uh, thank you. Guys. All right, I appreciate the call tonight. So uh, there you go. A little bit more than you might have known about that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems like the um, the... It, it seems like the the people that are trying to rule our lives are right out there in the open. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like there's people. Yeah. Are there people pulling their strings? Sure there are. Would they call them lobbyists? But I think it's believable that some of these people who are trying to rule our lives are also involved in creepy secret societies. I mean, there is people evidence. People love to that, have, you know, yeah. secret societies. It's weird and creepy. Like We should start our and, own just to create a, a whole new set of conspiracy like theories. Like the skull and bones. Group. You and I are in a secret there's society. We're not telling here. anybody about this it. This is Free Talk Live. There's a lot of confusing information out there about Bitcoin mining. Customers have been burned by companies taking their money on pre-orders for Bitcoin mining equipment, only to receive their equipment late and miss out on opportunities to mine Bitcoins. But that doesn't mean Bitcoin mining is impossible. You just have to find an honest company to do business with. If you want to mine Bitcoins and you want to do it now, no pre-orders, no waiting. Look into the AntMiner products from Bitmain. Their competitively priced AntMiners are in stock and ship from the U.S. as soon as you pay. You could buy an AntMiner today and be mining Bitcoins tomorrow. 
The AntMiner line offers the best mining power per dollar currently available. 20% of the mining power in the Bitcoin network is contributed by AntMiners. Not only that, but Bitmain is committed to support. You can get tech support and warranty service over the phone by calling 844-BITMAIN. For commercial accounts, they'll even travel to your data center to install your equipment. Get all the details at bitmaintech.com. That's bitmaintech.com. Global warming purports rising CO2 levels while evolution describes mutated DNA. The fraudulent sciences describe effects of iron poisoning and copper depletion. As generations are iron poisoned and copper deprived, the DNA has mutated and weakened as blood types A, B, and O. These blood types and rhesus factor are falsely used as evidence of evolution. Humans were created solely with blood type A, B negative. Fraudulent science purports mutated DNA coupled with rising CO2 levels in blood are causing humans to go into extinction. In truth, humans are being methodically exterminated by iron poisoning and copper depletion. Blood type AB is on the Shroud of Turin and matches the healthy population. They claim this is evidence they are from the line of Christ and thus are his Christ. They are from the lines that were disinherited 2,000 years ago and now they claim to be his Christ. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. That is a U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasing.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 if you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. It's the live Saturday edition of the program here on Free Talk Live. We're big fans of Bitcoin. And once you get into Bitcoin, you get your first Bitcoin wallet, which you can do for free at blockchain.info. You may be wondering how to actually get Bitcoins into your Bitcoin wallet. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been hearing about Bitcoins on the news and thinking that these things are going to have some effect. Frankly, uh, Bitcoins now have more transaction volume daily than PayPal does. That's a really big deal. Uh, Bitcoins allow you to send and receive money around the world at uh, virtual, uh, virtually no fee at all. Um, depending on the situation, it could be no fee to you know like pennies. But that's a big difference between uh, things like Western Union and wiring money and even PayPal. 
Um, you could do it potentially anonymously if you wish, but certainly it's just a lot faster and easier with Bitcoin if you, once you once you have them. And to get them, you should go to ExpressCoin.com. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service. It's a great service. I've been I've done a lot of business with them. It's fast and easy, completely legal. If you're concerned about that, they're a money trans. Uh, they've got their money license, money transmitter license, whatever MSB, whatever that is, and. Money services business. That's what it is. So you can get cryptocurrencies like Bitcoins or even Dogecoin. They're soon going to be offering some others over there at ExpressCoin.com. All you need is um, uh, to go to ExpressCoin.com and choose money order, check, or wire transfer. Like I said, start off ExpressCoin.com. There's a very short account set up with ExpressCoin. Very short. You can even do it from your smartphone if you get their app at ExpressCoin.com. So they make it easy. This is the place to get your coins at ExpressCoin.com. Let's go right into your phone calls and thoughts. We go first to Rusty calling us from Houston. Rusty, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Howdy, y'all. Before I ask my question, I just wanted to offer y'all membership to the Illuminati. Excellent. Uh, okay. Well, if you accept, you know, what we can talk later. But, Does um, it involve a sacrifice? I just want a check. Sort. That's what I'm looking for. A check or a chick? A check. A check. Okay, gotcha. Chicks I no, can it get. it involves a goat. That's, <laughs> okay. <that's>, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, my question, I guess, would be, uh, look at the history. You know, our founding fathers, they came, they fled Europe because of tyrannical rule. And then you had, even during colonizing of, uh, you know, our territory, People would flee different states because of uh, perceived transgressions on the right, whether it was the Mormons or, you know, prospectors looking for gold or mm -hmm. whatever. So it, it seems that when, when things got hard, people would just, you know, move, vote with their feet. But now with it being, I think the average person commits three felonies a day. That's a book that's, that's out. Law. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So where, where, where do you go from there? Uh, like, I've talked to people, and some of them are like, well, I'm looking at Estonia, if things ever get really bad, and stuff like that. Other people are saying, well, hopefully seasteading comes up online, and we can just, you know, move out into the international waters and, and live how we want. But it's I'm a big the, fan uh, of seasteading. Um, I, I really think that that's going to be something awesome in the future, but it is in the future. Um, I've been around. I've looked for these free places that people talk about. And uh, I live here in New Hampshire. We moved up for the Free State Project. Uh, you can find out more at freestateproject.org. But basically, it's an idea of moving 20,000 liberty lovers to one state and seeing what happens. And what I found is, is there may be places that allow more freedom in certain areas. Like, for instance, if you want to smoke pot, maybe New Hampshire isn't as good as Colorado. Right. But um, what there isn't in any of these places is a conversation about the ideas of liberty. Here... I can work with, uh, you know, have people work on my farm. I, I can buy and sell and trade and do business with people who care about liberty, people who talk about that. I spend the vast majority of my day talking to people who believe like I do. Rusty? All right. Yeah, well, well, we're signed up for the Free State Project. Fantastic. Yeah, 20,000. We plan to move up there, me and my uh, opportunity wife, but... Great. We'll Are you guys uh, planning to come up for the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which kicks off tomorrow? It's a great chance to come explore the state and meet some of the great people who will soon be your neighbors. Not this year. Next year we're, we're planning on it. We, I went online and bought some swag though, that y'all had. Very exciting. Uh, Rusty, anything else you want to share tonight? No, hey, thank you for your time. Thanks for the call. The Porcupine Freedom Festival kicks off tomorrow in Lancaster, New Hampshire. If you can make it up, even if it's just for a day... You should definitely come up, in my opinion. If you're in the New England area, make the drive. It'll be worth it. You'll be around probably well over 1,000, maybe 1,500 uh, freedom-oriented people. Uh, they're, you know, they're coming in all throughout the week, but there's going to be hundreds of them there oh, I think there's going to be Monday. over 2,000 with Joe, Joel Salatin speaking. Okay. That's my it's guess. It's very optimistic, uh, and I guess we'll find out over time what the actual numbers are. But it's going to be a lot. Whatever the number is, it's going to be in the 1,000-plus range and uh, these are people who are liberty oriented these are people who get what freedom means and they've come together a lot of them are going to be selling their uh, their wares they're going to be selling food and products and various different things without asking governmental permission and we're going to be setting up our remote studio there tomorrow so the sunday edition of the program which is your show mark that you host with stephanie and brian i take it the three of you are going to be there on sunday 
Yeah. Okay. So everybody's going up there uh, Sunday, and of course it kicks off tomorrow. That's that Sunday and goes through Sunday. So the 22nd through the 29th, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Tom is in Fort Myers, listening to WSRQ out of Sarasota. Hey, Tom. That's uh. Hey. Uh, yeah. I'm not, actually, I'm yeah. I'm listening on the internet, but uh. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh, my my question right now is, I know there's there's got to be so there. Why are they trying to accelerate the the ending of the planet? It seems to me, you know. I mean, I, I'm not a biblical scholar, but there's many things that seem to be running hand in hand. And right now, they what are they doing? Giving these people the name ISIS, which was uh, actually from Horus. Uh, his mother was Isis, and Horus was the war god. So that's the mother of war gods. Well, it's also about- Isol. Um, uh, you know, I mean, that's another name for it. But I mean, you know, it, <laughs> March is named after Mars. I don't think that uh, that well, means that we uh, wanted to bring the into the world uh, when somebody uh, named the months. Well, that's okay. And you said Isol. It just so happens that's what uh, President Obama said here the other day. Called it by accident that. And you know, I mean, I, I'm I, I'm 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 loving living in the country. I I haven't had a whole lot of qualms yet with any kind of encounters with anything bad going on as far as the way the government is ran to me directly. But so you've lucked out. One thing, <laughs> yeah, so far. Your, yeah, may, your luck may run to... out at some point too. I mean, the the worse the the <laughs> yeah. government gets, the more likely they're going to strike home to either you or a very very close loved one and hurt them in some sort of fashion, threaten them, put them in a cage, uh, etc. But what you're saying is, uh, you know, that you you think that you're not a really religious guy, but from what you know about religion, you feel like people are trying to hasten the end of the world. That does that mean you believe in that story? The you know the whole revelations thing. Well, I mean, uh, they, I mean, there, there's a lot of it. You have to filter through because, and you have to let God open up your own eyes and ask Him for the understanding because He's left a lot of clues in there. Uh, there's that. That's in where? Whole, in, are you talking about the Bible? It, it, in the Bible, yeah. So you are pretty religious, then, right? I mean, it sounds like you're really yeah. studying this. Yeah. And so now, I mean, okay, like. Uh, you know, I, I, like I say, I could go on to all kinds of other crazy things because even rich, uh, uh, cre- other Christians, fellow Christians, I guess, would, would think I'm off my rocker whenever I say that, you know, uh, during the na- days of Noah, whenever the outer atmosphere of the water or outer atmosphere was covered with water and people were living seven, eight, nine hundred years with Methuselah. Uh, and as far as we are, 80 years old. You don't think there was people leaving this planet? And do you think Noah might have just seen water falling and said, huh, this couldn't be, can't be very good? What does mm, people confused. leaving the planet have to do with water falling? I'm, I'm a little confused. The outer atmosphere was actually a shell of water. I've heard that uh, and, and from it, mostly from Christian-type folks. I, I have yet to see the right. science on it. But there is a really interesting finding that just uh, came out recently, like in the last few days that I saw, that there's a giant under ground ocean of water down there yeah, which might which might explain where say some of the water it's a, it's a whole bunch of water would go from here to the top of mount everest right um for the whole world to be covered in water and i, I don't think they found that much water down in the earth, yeah. earth but it is interesting that there's an underground ocean down there but i've heard about this uh this uh, uh what, what they call they didn't call it a firmament there's some other term that they had for this uh, vapor barrier around this is new i have not heard of this the idea that there was some sort of water but where did it go Body is of really water the question that was so, suspended gravity. above the earth. Yeah, gravity sucks. <laughs> well, yeah. You know. yeah, so it was suspended. Yeah, but, the wa- but water doesn't down. disappear. Hey, Tom, thanks for the call tonight. I don't know what you know. I don't know hey, if the world okay. is going to end, and I appreciate hearing from you. I, I'm not really worried no. about it. I'm going out on a limb. If you think the world's going to end, please donate at amp.freetalklive.com <laughs> yes. we'll because we money. don't think so. We're going to be here preaching the word of freedom and liberty on and past peace. the end of the I world. Like peace, too. Hour three's on the way here. We'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind on Free Talk Live at 855-450 free. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. 
Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body. And new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Now is the time for new flooring in your home because Lumber Liquidators has every floor on sale with the end of quarter clearance sale on right now. Get huge savings on all flooring like quick click pre-finished hardwood for $169 a square foot, solid hand-scraped horizontal bamboo for $179, and this weekend only get 8 millimeter cherry laminate for just $0.69. Cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special 24-month financing is available, but hurry, this end of quarter clearance sale ends Monday, June 30th. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Thursday, June 19th, 2014. Radio VR News. President Obama has been huddling with congressional leaders on how to halt the advance of a Sunni militant group in Iraq. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. The president met with the leaders of both houses for just over an hour. Reporters were allowed in at the start for a brief glimpse, but afterward the leaders left without comment. And the White House provided the barest of details, just that they discussed options for stiffening the Baghdad government and for getting it to rule in a less sectarian fashion. Aides say Obama hasn't decided yet on any military moves, but is dubious about airstrikes, in part because it's unclear exactly what targets could be hit that would be effective against the al-Qaeda-inspired insurgency. Mark Smith at the White House. House Republicans meet behind closed doors today to choose some new leaders following Majority Leader Eric Cantor's stunning primary loss. Jerry Bodlander has the details. With Majority Leader Eric Cantor giving up his leadership post next month, number three House Republican Kevin McCarthy is expected to win the election to succeed Cantor. Conservative Congressman Raul Labrador is waging what's considered to be a long shot challenge. It could take more than one ballot to decide the race for the number three spot, likely the best chance conservatives have of joining the GOP leadership. Deputy Whip Peter Ross Cam of Illinois is running, as are Steve Scalise of Louisiana, who heads the Republican Study Group, and Marlon Stutzman of Indiana. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. A bipartisan proposal in the U.S. Senate calls for raising the federal gas tax to replenish the soon-to-be insolvent fund that pays for highway and transit projects. Martin DeCaro explains. The 18 cents a gallon gas tax last raised in 1993 would increase 12 cents over the next two years, then be indexed to inflation under legislation proposed by two senators. Transportation policy expert Joshua Shank says it's a sound idea. You'd probably keep the highway trust fund in decent shape and sustainable for at least another decade, if not more. But he says it may be politically impractical. In the House of Representatives, the chances of any tax increase being passed even with associated tax cuts, is highly unlikely. Which means Congress could punt again on a long-term solution. Martin DeCaro, Washington. Asthma rates are dropping, but experts are not breathing easier. Correspondent Ross Simpson has the story. A new survey suggests asthma in the U.S. may finally be on the decline. But the results are so surprising, health officials are cautious about claiming a downturn. The findings come from a large national health survey conducted last year. The drop could just be an unexplained statistical blip 
and therefore officials at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are waiting for data from this year before proclaiming asthma is on the decline. I'm Ross Simpson. Amazon is showing off its hot new smartphone, Fire. Ed Donahue reports it'll be available at the end of July. It's called Fire. This phone is gorgeous. Amazon's Jeff Bezos says this phone is bigger than an iPhone. It's 4.7 inches, absolutely gorgeous display. It has the ability to render images in 3D. Another feature is Firefly. It lets you take a picture of something and then you can buy it. I can tap on any of these items and there are actions. So I'll tap on the book and you can see I can buy the Kindle edition. I can buy the paperback. Fire faces a crowded smartphone market. One retail expert says this goes back to Amazon's mission, which is to sell stuff. I'm Ed Donahue. The Presbyterian Church USA could vote at a convention this week to join the Israel divestiture movement. Correspondent Warren Levinson tells us why. The Reverend Jeffrey Dio insists the resolution before the Presbyterian Church USA General Assembly is incremental. It's divestment from just three companies that participate and profit from the harmful occupation. The Presbyterians' numbers are declining, and their investments in the three companies, Caterpillar, Hewlett-Packard, and Motorola, are small. But voting to divest would put the church in the midst of a hot Mideast controversy and not help anyone, says retired pastor John Wimberly. I mean, Israel's behavior is not going to change. The Palestinians' behavior is not going to change. An earlier version of the resolution failed by just two votes in 2012. I'm Warren Levinson. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. Millions of Americans are irrationally feared dead following a train derailment near Wilmington, Delaware. Less than 200 people were aboard the train, but because no names have been released yet, countless more are being imagined trapped inside the wreckage by worried parents and overly anxious friends. And the list of imagined victims is growing by the minute. From brothers-in-law who live in Delaware, who usually drive but could possibly have been on that train, to friends who went to Delaware on a business trip and may have been next to the tracks for some reason when the train derailed. And sadly, we're getting reports that even those who have never been to Delaware are now also among those irrationally thought killed. Oh, and we are just now getting word from Homeland Security that they're now warning people their fears may spiral into a wholly new fear that their loved ones never existed at all and are just byproducts of a drug-induced lucid dream in which their consciousness is currently imprisoned. Such a shame since this is reality. There is nothing beyond this to believe otherwise. It would be folly. This is the Onion News Network. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. We're doing a live Saturday edition, as we do every Saturday night here on these airwaves, wherever it is you happen to be listening and however you happen to be listening, radio, internet streaming, or later via podcast, downloadable archive at freetalklive.com. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. And, of course, you can join us uh, on the phones at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Coming up, a former sheriff. He's 71 years old now, and he's going to jail. Why? We'll explain here in moments. If we get a chance. stink to go to jail at 71. Well, he was a bad boy. We'll uh, give you the details on that. But first, we go to your phone calls and thoughts. We go to Skype first, where Corey is on the line in Savannah, Georgia. Corey, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, guys. If you permit me, I would like to talk about two things. Um, we'll first, see. Uh, the conspiracy theorist who called a few moments ago, not only was he uh, incorrect about Kennedy's executive order and the effects of it, but he also rattled off John Quincy Adams' name. Um, anyone who knows their history of the anti-Masonic party in the United States would know that John Quincy Adams helped to found the anti-Masonic party. Um, which well, was, he was suggesting Adams was a Mason or Illuminati? Uh, it was Illuminati. Illuminati, okay. which that would not kind of jive because John Quincy Adams was strongly against all um, so so-called secret society, and, and he was also mildly Christian. John Quist, Quincy Adams wasn't any like you know big Bible thumper or anything like that. But he was you know somewhere in the world at the time. Deism was very popular in the Enlightenment era, he and this was the George 
Washington. He was no Ben Franklin. He was no Thomas Jefferson. Of course, Thomas Jefferson was not a Mason. Um, the other two were. Yep. Um, but um, how does this I, guy, how does this guy get it wrong so badly? I mean, there, you're talking about a guy who called in the last hour. He made it sound like he's he knew all this stuff about secret societies, the Illuminati. He starts naming all these names. Uh, is he just really bad at research, or is he, you know, some sort of plant to throw out misinformation? What, uh, how do you screw that one up? If you're saying it's so obvious, some of this information is so obvious. Um, it gets screwed up, I think, because there's so many people out there who think that they can just say things mm -hmm. that aren't correct or factual whatsoever, and then these people exist within a bubble. You know, I've I, I know some very hardcore conspiracy theorists. Um, they're easy to find in the libertarian movement, unfortunately. Um, and it's it's like they live within a bubble sometimes, and they, they pass these ideas around, and it's like, hold on, have you ever actually checked into what you're saying? Mm. You know, the science behind what you're saying, the some of the ideas that you have? Um, I am, I, I actually am a past pastor of the lodge that I belong to. Um, and I, I don't see how anyone who actually knows a Mason or knows Scottish Rite Masons or York Rite Masons, uh, in general, that sure there's members of every group, uh, who are not the, uh, the nicest people in the world or sure. uh, the most caring. I mean, in the Liberty Movement, we have our own, uh, buttholes, you know, um, but, you know, the, the, the symbols of Freemasonry, the square and the compass, the two main symbols that you see everywhere. The square teaches us to square our actions toward all mankind. And the compasses teach us to circumscribe our passions and keep our desires within due bounds. Why do you, you know? think it's the Freemasons always get the, uh, the I mean, the, the conspiracy theorists have their eyes trained on them like lasers. Why do you think that is? Um. Well, because it goes back a long way. I mean, the Catholics, um, and this brings in a lot of issue issues. The Catholics have had a um, a ban against Masons since 1737. Hmm. Um, they first labeled Freemasonry as anti-Christian um, around 1737. Well, that's interesting because uh, don't you? I mean, I've done a little bit of research on the Masons. Don't you have to believe in God in order to be a Mason? You do have to believe in God. Um, and and any they will they will allow anyone who believes in a supreme being. Um, mm -hmm. It's a it's very open uh, as far as belief goes. You have to believe in the immortality of the soul um, and the existence of a supreme being. And beyond that, how do they, there, how did how did the Catholics get that? The Masons are anti-Christian from a group. Well, that back at that time, 1739, the, uh, the Catholic Church wasn't really open to the idea of people having their own Bibles and being mm, okay. in control of their own spiritual life. Precisely. And the Freemasonry was tied up with the Enlightenment, um, which pretty much went in the face of Catholicism. Um, so it goes from that. Um, and then it's all wrapped up into a lot of conspiratorial thinking, because if you look at uh, what Goebbels and Hitler said, it wasn't just the Jews. When they would speak, they would talk about um, a cabal of Jews and Freemasons. Um, so there has been a coordinated effort uh, among these groups over time that have spread propaganda against Freemasons, uh, mm -hmm. who have always carried the ideas of the Enlightenment. Well, you know, so ideas of liberty and justice and uh, equality, um, those ideas have always been in Freemasonry. If you look at the history of Freemasonry, that's always been there. So, um, and we've, and Freemasons have also often... Well, wait a minute. It's equality unless you're a woman, right? Because the Freemasons don't let women in. Well, there's the Eastern Star. Um, did that come afterwards? Like, how long did it take them to have the Order of the Eastern Star? It took quite a while. Yeah. And um, there's also the issue. So it's a men's club dedicated to equality. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it most certainly is. Now, um, there's, now, now, there is secretiveness around some of the Masonic rites or how things work, right? Don't you have to swear an oath to secrecy? Yes. And that's the reason I was also going to mention I know that you're a Quaker. Um, and so that's some issues with Quakers becoming Masons. 
Um, oh, like okay. You're supposed to swear oaths. You're not supposed to see others as higher than you. I've I've actually looked into it because I'm very fascinated. Well, right, and there's different levels. Wait, okay. I thought you were in the Masons. No, I'm. No, he's no, in the Quakers. Quakers. I was talking about the Quakers. But you are a Mason. Yes, okay. I am a Mason, right. and I was very interested in uh, attending some of the Quaker meetings and going to some of the meeting mm. houses. Don't worry, you can attend. Oh, yeah. I know, um, but I just won't talk about. So, um, uh, but okay, things. but so you're sworn to secrecy, but here you are talking about some of the things about the Masons. I mean, is there is there are certain areas where you can you can reveal information? Oh well, the thing about secrecy is is that the secrets are so obvious that anyone who is a thinking, caring human being will know what the secrets are anyways. Um, they're just codified in the ritual of Freemasonry. So the ritual is what, what we're not supposed to share. It's the hmm. ritual part. But as And is the ritual what happens in the lodge with the checkerboard floor and the various symb symbology? Yeah, I mean, the, it's the... What the symbols, uh, and it's really not even, I can talk about most of the symbols. It's just some of the issues of rec recognition and things like that that really, uh, and it's, a, it's ev everyone kind of has to draw their own line. Um, there's some things that are absolutely okay. You just don't, uh, you just don't talk about, uh, like uh, ways to recognize another mason. That's grit. Just like a secret um, handshake. Yeah, things like that. Um, but as far as symbols go, I, I feel absolutely, absolutely free to talk about any of the symbols because these symbols do not start, did not start with Freemasonry. Hmm. The symbols are much, much older than Freemasonry. Is. What is the level of Mason that you are, Corey? I am third degree. So okay. that's a master Mason. Master Mason, yes. And that's the third highest degree. level is the third degree. That's that's the that's the level at which you, there is. There are more degrees, uh, but okay. you will never, you will never become any more of a mason by getting any more degrees. Um, so if you go on and you get more degrees, you get more knowledge. But there is never a point where you are above anyone else. There, I think it's a, fascinating, uh, and uh, this is part of the reason why p some people are so, I think, paranoid about the masons is because of the secrecy, right? Yeah. So there's a secret. Whenever God, I don't know the secret. Right. Yeah. If you're if there's someone who is interested in knowing about it, but they don't know, it can be very frustrating. And I thank you for at least sharing some information, oh, no. Corey. Thanks for the uh, the call tonight, man. I yep. appreciate hearing from you, you and your satanic friends. Toll free number is 855 450 free. Well, the Masons would say they don't, they're not satanic at all. They believe in <laughs> God. Kidding. It's free talk live. More coming up. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? 
If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. We're here live on this Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number is brought to you by ProXPN. It's 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive. You can create the content there on the front page of the website. Antiwar.com is a news site that uh, you know takes things from the perspective that we don't need this archaic form of communication known as war, or at least that it doesn't need to be employed as often it is as it is and i'm proud that antiwar.com is a website that comes from the libertarian perspective as opposed to say the liberal perspective i don't know that many uh, anti-war conservatives out there um and that really it, that really means something to me and it's the reason that i donated recently they've had uh, some real financial issues over there at uh, antiwar.com they had some major donor donors die some were chased away by the fact that they found out that uh there's a news story that antiwar.com was being um, you know, researched by the FBI. Uh, they were being looked in uh, – there's uh, monitoring, I guess, is the terminology they're using. And it, they ended up having to cut staff over the past several years um, in half, and the remaining staff spread very thin. The top two people right now this summer have been foregoing paychecks there at antiwar.com to make sure that, mm. every, that the, the website stays up and that the other folks are getting paid. It's important to them that anti-war continues on, and it's important to me. And if it's important to you that antiwar.com continues on, please go there now. Now is the time to go there. Go there now and make a donation. Yes, you can donate in Bitcoin if you wish. Um, as a matter of fact, they prefer Bitcoin. They'll take they'll take anything. You know, gold bars. Uh, you know, F, uh, Federal Reserve notes, uh, old cars. It doesn't matter. But uh, they call they call Bitcoin the currency of peace. Antiwar.com slash donate. All right, let's get. Continue with your calls and thoughts. We go to Liberty Phoenix. He is on Skype from Illinois. Liberty Phoenix. Hey guys, um, my call tonight was just pertaining uh, what I believe I believe the correct word is the fungibility of silver at Porkfest. Okay. Um, because I was able to get my boss to he didn't pay me in Bitcoin, but he paid me in silver. Wow. So I got about thirty ounces of silver as payment this week. Neat. Um, but they're all full ounces. They're not divisible or any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I know that that's much more popular. Um, do you guys know if um, the vendors there that have uh, the divisible silver, I believe Davi Barker um, has has some divisible silver. Do you know if they do a markup at all? 
So the Porcupine Freedom Festival is the event that's kicking off tomorrow in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live there. They have something called Agora Alley, which is basically an open marketplace, and various different things are sold and traded there. And silver is uh, commonly seen at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. What you're asking is, though, can you go and bring an ounce of silver to someone and get some sort of divis- you know, division of that, uh, tenths or quarters or something like that? Is that what you're asking? Essentially, um, I know that the internet uh, system is kind of iffy there, so I'm not sure how how easy it will be to transmit or to to pay in Bitcoin or to get. Oh, Bitcoin's in- all over the place at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I mean, if I would say Bitcoin, it has supplanted uh, silver it, um, in as the alternative currency. It's likely accepted by more vendors than uh, silver is. I'm just mostly for the reasons you're talking about. And uh, there was a situation last year where if you wanted to, you could get on a Bitcoin-only Wi-Fi network that some people set up. I don't know if that network's going to be there this year. It might be. And that you could only use Bitcoin-related stuff and go to Bitcoin-related websites with that connection. But there's uh, you know, there's 4G at the campground if you've got uh, Verizon. I don't remember which other cell phone companies actually provide internet service. I Everything gets go loaded down um, during this time because yeah. there's so many people. Internet the, the gets in- pretty hard, but 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 sending a Bitcoin transaction does not take a lot of bandwidth, so it's not hard to use the internet for Bitcoin even when you're out in the woods at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So, so it'll I be completely feasible for me to get change if I in in Bitcoin if I use my rounds. It's possible. I mean, whether or not the business essentially people it comes will- to it, you know, I mean, when di- using silver as money, it's, it comes down to a barter situation. If they're willing to accept the silver, they're likely willing to give you change in some form or another. Some will give discounts uh, on the products for giving silver, and some some people will charge a little more for taking silver. So you, it really just depends. Yeah, and I think there's a good chance that the folks from Sons of Liberty uh, Mint will be there. And if that's the case, then they will have silver have their that's, that's divvied up. In fact, they even have tenths of an ounce oh, do of they? silver, I believe. I know they did in the past. I suspect they still do. And so if they're there, you could always try to exchange your ounce with them. I'm sure they're going to take a cut off the top for their efforts to for minting the, the, the fractional pieces. But that's you could weird, likely yeah. you could likely trade them out there as well. So there's all kinds of options available for you. Does that mean you're coming up to the Porcupine Freedom Festival, or was it just a general question? No, I most certainly am. After all the I might and I might not, I I am absolutely have a ride there and almost have a ride all the way back. Oh, that's exciting. Well, congratulations. When uh, when will you be arriving? Uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning around 8, and I'm meeting up with a gentleman in Indiana, and then we're le- leaving from there, going straight to uh straight to straight to the cool. uh, Roberts to uh, Rogers Campground Rogers. in the northern White Mountains of New Hampshire for Now, how uh, how long does it take to get from Illinois to New Hampshire like 12 hours? About that. Uh, I'm accept- expecting something like that. I'll, we'll probably get, get into the campground around 8 or 9 tomorrow night, Sunday night. Oh, that'll be fun. Set up the uh, the tent in the dark. Good luck with that, Liberty Phoenix. We'll see you in a few Thanks days at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Uh, go to porkfest.com to learn more about it. We're going to be talking a lot more about it uh, starting tomorrow night as we will be live from the LRN.FM media room. Uh, as we are have every single year at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So it's a lot of fun. P O R C F E S T dot com, porkfest.com. Let's go to Lewis in Keene, our very own Keene, New Hampshire. Lewis, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, I would like to point out that these neocons that are passing themselves off as conservatives are not real conservatives. And if you look at the past American history, conservatives are traditionally isolationist. They don't believe in getting involved in foreign wars or current foreign conflicts. They believe in Adam Smith. If yeah. you have free trade, your free trade, the people you have free trade with, if everybody follows the rules of free trade, nobody will fight because you'll be blowing up your own trading partner. Well, I like what you're saying there, Lewis, but I, I just want to clarify something. The term isolationist suggests that they would be against free trade. If you are in favor of free trade but also against war, wouldn't that make you a non-interventionist? Probably more of a non-interventionist, I guess. But if you take a look at past history, until George H.W. Bush... Virtually every war was started by a progressive Democrat. 
Well, well, Ronald Reagan sent some troops. Yeah, hold, hold on. Okay, so in the in World War One, um, Woodrow Wilson made a promise not to get into a, a foreign war. In um, was it his first or second uh, run? I don't anyway, recall. It was a campaign promise. It was a campaign promise, and the fact is, is he bowed to the Republicans on that one. There's really no doubt. I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, the Republic, Republicans simply can't deny a pro-war strain throughout the 20th century. Look, I am a Republican. Republican delegate to the state convention in here in New Hampshire. I've studied this, and it's just there's there's it. The presidents may have been Democrat at the time, but there's no there's no getting around the fact that Republicans supported World War One. Lewis, do we lose yeah, you? Yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm thinking about that. Well, well think about it here. We'll let you respond here in a moment. Lewis, at, stand by. We'll let you uh, we'll we'll let you respond in a moment. And more with Lewis. Your calls as well are welcome at 855-450-FREE. The true conservative. What does that actually mean? Usually a monarchist. We'll come back with more. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because 
I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here on this live Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and that's brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. We're going to get right back into your phone calls next, and don't forget you can join us online at freetalklive.com. The North American Bitcoin Conference. It is going to be awesome, and it is going to be in Chicago at the McCormick Place South Building on July the 19th and 20th. I'm excited to be there. Free Talk Live is going to be broadcasting, doing some interviews. All kinds of speakers are going to be there, including uh, Trace Meyer of Armory Wallet, Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vigilante, Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, Roger Veer, known as Bitcoin Jesus, Tony Gallippi, CEO of BitPay, uh, Christina Gorlick from Cloud Hashing, uh, Jeffrey Tucker from Liberty.me, all the names that are the names in the Bitcoin community are going to be there. They're going to teach you uh, what Bitcoins are, how to use them, uh, the specifics. There's all kinds of things. Bitcoin is a is a rabbit hole that can go very, very deep. If you uh, want to get employed in the Bitcoin community, this is the place where people are going to get the jobs. They're looking for people who have the, uh, the skills. So uh, go check it out, please. Uh, come see us broadcast our first ever remote broadcast in uh, Chicago, out in the Midwest at all. BTC Chicago. Chicago.com. Again, btcchicago.com. Bitcoin, the, the the abbreviation for Bitcoin is BTC. So btcchicago.com. Lewis is with us, calling from our very own Keene, New Hampshire. And it says here, Lewis, you're listening to WKBK, but I don't think that could be correct because we're normally only on yes, a Saturday. It is. This is Saturday. Oh, it is Saturday. Yes, it is Saturday. <laughs> I am oh, in hello. such a time warp right now. Let me tell you, I got back uh, this morning, early this morning from New York City, and I've just been packing all day for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Thank you for the reminder as to what day it is. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, Lewis, you were saying that true conservatives uh, are people well, who I are— guess, I guess if you're going to get into the, into the nomenclature, I don't think there are true conservatives and true liberals. I think they're both misnomers— because a conservative wants things to stay the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. A liberal wants things to progress. So basically, right now, you could say that Obama and his bunch are the conservatives because they want everything to stay the same, and the other side wants everything to change. Right. This so is amazing, they Lewis. they would be the liberals, and then as soon as the other side gets into power, they become the conservatives, and the other side becomes the liberals. If you listen to people like Rachel Maddow and Michael Moore, now these would be people that would call themselves progressives, they'll talk about how great life was here in the 50s when there was a lot of union presence in the private sector. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds for all the world to me like conservative talky. Um, I mean, conservatives will talk about how life was better in the 50s. It's all about this TV show, Happy Days, that came out in the 70s, and people believe that somehow that's what America looked like. <laughs> and, you know, this the right-left paradigm to doesn't even begin to describe it. Um, Thomas Jefferson, who is revered by m many conservatives, most conservatives, would have called himself a liberal. And that's the terminology was is the people use it for that is now classical liberal. Thomas Jefferson did didn't understand the ideas of socialism. Those ha didn't really come around um, till later. So I think we'd be I'm best off just calling ourselves things like, um, you know, like liberals these days should be calling themselves democratic uh, socialists. Been pretty pretty close. And I mean, the thing is, too, I, I took uh, on the uh, libertarian website that are you a, and it asked you all the questions, and I came up really just borderline libertarian and conservative. Happens to a lot network. of folks. There's a great quiz that you can take. Uh, maybe this is about. the one that you yeah, were talking about. Well, I don't know. If, it's don't, fun to take. Yeah, I don't know if the Libertarian Party is the same quiz as the Advocates for Self Government. Maybe it is. I'm not I'm not gonna jump to that conclusion, Mark. But this one was called the world's smallest political quiz. Was that what you took? 
That's the one that I took. And then there was this little circle at the end of it, and my little arrow was, like, right on the little line in between. Well, anybody who wants to take it can go to quiz.freetalklive.com and take it. Does that it. link still work? It is still working, okay, which good. you asked me that the last time I gave yeah. that okay, good. on the air. Well, sometimes they change those things on you. Anyway, yeah, the advocates for self-government, they're the ones who created it. You surprise yourself sometimes. <laughs> it's true. You surprise yourself when you take it, Yeah. Well, you surprised me, Lewis, and thanks for letting me know it's Saturday night. I appreciate the call tonight. appreciate hearing from you, and uh, we'll continue with your calls and thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Uh, yeah, so the Advocates for Self-Government, great organization. The What he's talking about is the Diamond Chart, which is something that I Nolan believe chart, David yeah. Nolan came up with, who was the founder of the Libertarian Party in the early 1970s. And he came up with the Diamond Chart to uh, to kind of expand people's political vision, if you will, that uh, a lot of people look at things from this left-right perspective, and libertarians don't really fit into the whole left-right paradigm. A perfect example of this, of course, is the idea that if you are a libertarian or a liberty-minded person, you would, for instance, believe in ending the war on drugs. But at the same time, you would also believe in total freedom to defend yourself, like gun rights, for instance. So on one hand... The idea of ending the war on drugs seems to be kind of a lefty, you know, I'm, I'm generalizing. It's not really fair to do this because there's plenty of lefties who support the war on drugs. But, you know, personal freedom. All you can do is generalize in these. Right. Uh, these are generalized terms. Personal freedom kind of has that lefty connotation, whereas freedom to defend oneself has that righty uh, connotation. So if you're a liberty-minded person, you support both of those things. How would you describe that on the left-right paradigm? Would you describe that as centrist? Okay, fine. Take that and describe it as centrist. But what if you are a total authoritarian who believes that the government should both control drugs and control guns? Is that also a centrist in the left-right paradigm? Doesn't see this is the the problem with the right left paradigm is is that it is centuries old uh, means nothing to people because uh, you know, it moves along. Uh, I mean, how many conservatives? My grand great grandmother uh, beat my great uncles with a stick, mind you, when she found them with playing cards. She was pretty conservative. Mm. Who today among the conservatives would say? That they're that conservative because the the conservative paradigm moves along too because mm -hmm. they're you're generally harking back to some decades ago. Playing cards are tools of the devil. We need to put a stop to right. this. <laughs> Absolutely. Now there are people out there that are that conservative, but who knows what else they believe? Mm -hmm. So I. So that my point was that you can see the inconsistency, right? If a libertarian and an authoritarian, two complete political opposites, would on the left-right paradigm be labeled as centrist. Something's wrong with the left-right paradigm. So uh, Nolan came up with the diamond chart, which expands from just the left and right, the x-axis, if you will, mm -hmm. and adds a y-axis, an up and down on that. And then he added authoritarian to the bottom quadrant and then libertarian to the top quadrant. And because, then the because he was a libertarian, libertarians got to go on the top. It makes sense, <laughs> uh, even though it's obviously the authoritarians who are on top of everyone and dominating us. But it's a cool thing, and you can go to quiz.freetalklive.com and take it and share it with your friends on your Facebook, etc., as we go, and we should share it on our Facebook as uh, as well, Mark. We'll do that here. In I'll a do that bit. now. Uh, let's go back to your calls and thoughts, though. We've got Madison. Randy is on the line, listening to the Mike ninety two point one WXXM. Hello, Randy. Hey, hello, man. I really appreciate you taking my call. Sure. I feel like uh, Monk after he's gotten rid of his flu. Who? Anyway. Uh, you know, Bunk on the TV, uh, Bunk, the TV guy who's uh, the, the detective? No, oh, I don't watch TV. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, anyway, he's uh, he's kind of eccentric. Okay, gotcha. Uh, the thing is, listen, I want to know, how do you uh, go to some place, some location, put down $300 and say, give me $300 worth of Bitcoin, so I can get started. Uh, I gotta buy something overseas, and uh, I don't want to send it any other way. I want to buy it in Bitcoin on the internet. Now, just to clarify, are you? Do you really need to go physically to a location, or are you willing to just go online and buy Bitcoin? I want to go someplace and put cash down. I don't want to transfer. I don't want to. I don't want to use a credit card. First, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to use a credit card. I would go to way. local bitcoins in that case. I mean, we obviously advocate advocate for ExpressCoin.com. With ExpressCoin, you can use money order. 
But uh, And I think they've got a cash option, but I think you have to ship it through the mail or something like that. But if you want to meet someone in person for a Bitcoin deal, you can always go to localbitcoins.com. And there are usually people in any given area. I'm sure Madison has uh, multiple where they'll actually meet you at a coffee shop or something like that. And you can do exactly what you're asking for. Randy, thanks for the call tonight, man. We appreciate hearing from you. 855-450 free. Enough time for your calls and thoughts. Coming up. Can education be separated from the state? Today, people go to college, do coursework, repeat what professors tell them, get degrees, and are issued official transcripts from state-approved institutions. These transcripts are given to potential employers as proof of coursework. In the future, people will learn online and obtain pseudonymous academic credentials associated with their Bitcoin address. That future is now. At mathgate.info, you can learn basic reasoning skills. Instead of getting a transcript associated with your name, you can obtain cryptographic proof that the owner of your Bitcoin address learned these skills. Then, apply for jobs online using your Bitcoin address instead of your government-sanctioned name. Since mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously, you can be sure that you will not be discriminated against or shown favoritism due to your race, gender, political or religious views, and so on. There is only one factor by which you will be judged, your ability to reason. Be at the vanguard of separating education from the state by visiting mathgate.info. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, proflowers.com is the key. Proflowers has stunning bouquets like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, Proflowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want right here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us via Skype as well. Our Skype username, lrn.fm. It's not too late to get your thoughts in here tonight, but if you don't make it on tonight, please accept our sincerest apologies and call in tomorrow because we are doing the live Sunday night show from the Porcupine Freedom Festival, but we will still have the ability to take your calls. Sure will. Just not your Skypes when we are live and on location. So we'll look forward to doing that starting tomorrow night for an entire week from Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. Go learn more about that there. Free Talk Live brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Derek J, of course, he's actually up there already at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Start. It, it doesn't start officially till tomorrow, but some people will, they'll go up, they'll show up at the campground a week in advance just to, you know, take it easy for a week before Pork fest and maybe drive around and see some of the rest of the state he actually went up for uh, for a lesbian wedding so you could go up there and have a good time even before port fest uh, begins we're going to go to your calls your thoughts toll free number is 855 450 free let's go to john calling from charleston south carolina john are you actually in charleston uh well i'm in between charleston and myrtle beach i'm oh. picking you up off I think a Myrtle Beach channel, 99.5 RNN. Yep, okay, that is uh, WRNN from Myrtle Beach, because I was going to say we are also on WTMA in Charleston. Okay, welcome yep. aboard. Go ahead with your thoughts, sir. Well, you know, okay, first off, I got a question for you in just a second, uh, and I'm not going to say you haven't tried to answer it for me before, but you just haven't done it to my satisfaction because right. I didn't really want to hear I didn't like your answer. But anyway, uh, look, I'm, a, I'm, I'm conservative on some issues. I think, you know, I'm a libertarian on on others. I don't believe the government should be educating my children or telling me I have to bring my child to school if I want to if I want to homeschool them. I don't think the government should be involved in uh, a lot of things. I don't believe in the IRS. I think uh, there's okay. a lot of things, you know. And earlier the caller called and started bringing all this crap about you know secret societies and their role in globalism and uh, puppet strings on the politicians. There is a DVD out there called America, Freedom, the Fascism. Yep, yep. we saw it actually at the screening. Uh, yeah. Was Aaron Russo there? He was there, yeah. Right. Yeah, Aaron Russo was there. Yeah, okay. All of that's fact. It can be backed up, okay? You just have to look into it. And, and if Americans would just, or anybody, would just watch that, that changed my life. That hmm. put a whole new perspective on the way I look at my government. I think they need to have their hands out. But the one question I want to ask both of you. All right. Okay. Now, don't think 200 years back. Think today and the threats of today. And believe me, I and by no means like the military-industrial complex, okay? But when you have a country that is as hungry, greedy, and bloodthirsty as China and Russia, if we did not have a military right now, to protect us. And I don't mean, I'm not talking about taking our military elsewhere because I am a non-interventionist. I, I am what you just said. Okay. I believe we need to stay out of everybody else's business. I, okay? I'm with you there. We don't need to be in any, okay, we don't need to be putting our military, I don't care what happens in somebody else's country. Okay, if they can't police their own country, then that's a problem. I'm with you there. So go, go, go ahead and get with the question. Okay. What, okay, what, how long right now would it take if we didn't have an army and air force, a navy and a marines, okay, for the Chinese and the Russians or any other country to come over to us for our resources and take us? If we didn't have our military, how long do you think it would take nowadays? With the they way wouldn't China's step moving foot. In the yeah, world? I don't think that they would. Um, I, you know, I can't imagine that China and and the so uh, Russia would uh, be heading over here um, when there's so much uh, in the immediate vicinity. I do think, you know, of them. I mean, they're going to want to expand out from where they are. But remember, no no empire can rule by force and coercion for uh, and, and and expand across the globe. It just has never happened. Once the uh, lines of communication get too uh, you know too long then people revolt they just uh, they're not going to be able to be put well, that, up put that's up with not it. true though and let me tell you why okay what you're not thinking about is okay when we when we got away from Britain okay to the Revolutionary War you were dealing with black powder muskets that took almost a full minute to reload and fire off three times okay, a minute if you if you're good ball. Three, right. three times a minute if, you if you're good. good. That's right. That's right. Three times a minute if you were good. And cannonballs coming out of a cannon. People they could do those things in as little as eight seconds. It's amazing. Of course, people right. lost hands right. all the time. That's true. That's true. Oh, but nowadays, okay, 
you have weapons that are much more of a mass. Def- I mean, just take out masses sure. of people. We've yeah. got nukes. We, uh, and so is your fear, just to clarify satellite. the question, John, is your fear the okay. attack by the Chinese, the Russians, is a nuclear attack, a, a mass no. bombing, no. or no, just sir. a ground troops uh, thing? I'm, no, my feeling is, and this is my true feeling, okay, from looking at what's happening in world events right now, you've got, you've got China pushing out into the Asiatic, okay? They're looking at Philippines, they're looking at Thailand, you've got Russia going into Crimea, uh, trying to push their way that way. What they're doing right now is a push out, and it's for nobody. You know, they may want to put it to something else, but it's all about resources. But no, hold the on, just to clarify, the, rich, in those in okay. the in the cases you're bringing up, they're not right. mass bombing people, right? No, no, no. Right. That's not my point at all. My point is, is if we don't have, and look, I don't like it because of the way we've used it for the last hundred years. Okay, the military. You have. Yes, the military. Okay, we've used our military to to steal and 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 take oil and resources from other country and for pure political reasons. It's never really been about our own protection. I got it. Because if we have to stand and protect it's, ourselves in the United States, that's what our military needs to be. Is that's right what I. Here that's what I believe. Now, the fact fear. is, the military has become um, like, for instance, you would not take. It, it would be uh, mean to take welfare away from sp- everybody in this country tomorrow. You'd have to wean them off of it, right? Like that's. It would be yes, like you'd have to develop programs and right. try to re-educate them, retrain them. But yes, even if it's be a time limit on that too. Even if it is an Im- immoral to. Um, uh, you know, take money from one person and give it to another without their permission, um, you'd still need to have something to go from one to the other. The fact is the U.S. military, the U.S. Navy, which keeps the shipping lanes clear across the globe, has become essentially welfare for wealthy European countries. They These countries don't have to have the militaries that they would otherwise have. France and England beseeched the United States for help with Libya. France and England, two of the world's great superpowers just decades ago, couldn't ham- handle Libya on their own. Mm. And the, that's because the United States military is welfare for the imperial might of Western world. And so if you want to, we these uh, countries off of this form of welfare, you'd have to sort of slowly contract. Um, otherwise, yes, something's going to come into the vacuum, and that's going to be the next largest military or third largest military in the world. I don't know which ones it is, but I think that Russia and China are probably in the, uh, um, you know, in that lineup. I would like to respond yeah, to China. John. I'd like to respond to your question earlier about the the fear that someone would invade, for instance, in the absence of the U.S. military. And what I'd like to point out is that if I had the world I'd like to see, or at least the country that I'd like to see, uh, which is a voluntary order, a consensual society, then you would totally be free to hire people who might have formerly been in the military as a protection force. I think that it's fine to have people protect you. Or have militias. You, or have militias or whatever organization that you feel is most appropriate. Because I, th- I don't think it's been mentioned yet, but I believe there are over 300 million firearms in the United there's States more, of America. But there's more guns than there are people in this so, country. So, I mean, even if the military were to disappear tomorrow, and certainly there are a lot of people who would not want that to happen, but even if it were to disappear, I don't think there would be any imminent threat whatsoever of an invasion because there are so many people who would be willing to defend their families and defend their property here. I don't think that that I don't think it'd be a problem. But again, self-organization into, you know, militia groups, into person you know, groups of mercenaries. I think that people who want to have this sort of martial situation with a mili- military or militia like group, you should be able to have it. Just don't force people who don't want to fund it to fund it. How do you feel about that? Well, I, you know what? This is, it's a necessary evil. Okay, for instance, if I go to the bathroom, I got to put the toilet lid down. I don't want to put the toilet lid down, but in my house, if you don't put the toilet lid down, well, if you're married, you know what I'm having to go through. Okay, that's one thing. Okay, uh, you, you know, you say something about military and militia. Uh, they're not going to stand uh, five divisions of Chinese mil- uh, air force. Bombers, carpet bombing. Brother, I don't know if you've noticed. Take a look at what Afghanistan does. Right, <laughs> I Afghanistan's, mean, Afghanistan's well, withstood the United States' longest war in history. Yeah, I don't. I, and besides, oh, no, you, they, you already they, gave they examples. The Russians, 
many years before that because they live in the mountain. It's indigenous, but they've still lost a very large portion of their civilian population. Look, John, you already said earlier, I'm, I'm sorry, but we're short on time. You already said earlier that you don't support the IRS. You don't support a lot of things. So we agreed no. on a lot of stuff. If you don't support yes. the IRS, then there's no way to fund the big military that you're talking about, even if it is a military that's just protecting the United States, which arguably would be a lot better than what we have today. So on that much, we could certainly agree. And uh, if you'd like to continue the conversation, call tomorrow night. We've got a live Sunday show, and you can join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. We'll continue this from Porkfest 2014 tomorrow night. In this week's Onion Tips section, five easy ways to adapt your deplorable and parasitic existence for the upcoming Armageddon. Tip one, focus on preparing your home for any number of disaster situations, which still probably won't take your mind off of your impending death or the myriad mistakes you made in your short, pitiful life. Tip two, make sure your linens are clean prior to the upcoming catastrophe, as these are likely the very same sheets on which you will soon be slowly asphyxiated. Tip three, take some time off work and spend your last days free from the bonds of the oppressive machine that was just about the only thing giving you a purpose to your otherwise insignificant days. Tip four, spend your final waking minutes before the end of the world with your family, knowing full well you'd rather be doing a number of other gratifying yet completely depraved things. Right, sicko? In other news, a smitten foot fetishist thinks these may be the two. A woman and her gay best friend go on another one of their little adventures, and a dead daughter would have wanted a $220 million liability settlement. This is the Onion News Network. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere?